Ladies and gentlemen, quarterfinals. And we have here the Viper and Velese. Really focus. Seat number one, seat number six. Free leg is going to be the first game. And the civilizations are going to be what? I have no clue. So Menstradamus, not going to work. The Viper looks healthy. I see the Viper focus. And I think the Viper is fine. I don't know how it looks. He looks serious. And I don't see that he's looking uh, titanic. All the day against Lee, he was looking bad. But today, I think he's looking fine. He looks tired. Well, I don't know. I have heard that he, he became vegan as well. I don't know what, what happened, but I have a lot of people and some friends, vegans, also here in my country, and they all get sick so often, mo much more often than me. I don't know if he's related that they are missing some vitamins or something, you know? I don't know. He's just serious and he's focused, you know? The immune system is messed up. I think so. I think so. Yeah. It's hard to diet balance that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What? That's not politics. Oh, hi. Bless him, man. Why so full screen? Ah, oh, come on. Seriously? Seriously? They put the Terminator, the robot to Velese. That's what they do in the production. In the, uh, and they told me controversial to me. They tell controversial to me. That's bully, man. Not, I mean, honestly? What the hell? Okay. I, I, I don't like that. For example... I mean, if I don't saw this in my stream, I wouldn't make any comment. But now that I'm trying to support the tournament, I don't find that funny. You know? I don't find that funny. My goodness. He has an own Terminator remote? Really? Okay, then it's funny. What the fuck, man? Then he can complain if he if he if they call him robot. <sighs> My goodness, man. He's an emote from his own channel. Okay. Well then I like what Viles is doing. Okay, they call me they call me robot. I will laugh about it. Sometimes my son comes from the school and tell me, Papi, they they are they are annoying me. And I say my son, obviously he's seven years old. It's not the same. And I say my son, um, what it is? What they're doing? And I say, and what you react? No, I react, ignore. You have to, to, to ignore. You have to ignore, you know? It's, it's the best way. It's the best way. No, punch them, no. Never. Okay, let's see if they are going to start. Hopefully they will, because I'm recording for YouTube already, but they are not starting. Vamos. Now it's starting. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go. Then I'm going to tell you guys, if he has this that, emo, that own emoticon, if we made a new tournament, I will get a, big, a picture with that emoticon with Veles. It's what it is. Guys, game number one. Veles, Kemur, the Viper, Japanese. Japanese, always sick. This is the only... Water map, let's say, in this matchup. And I'm gonna leave Vilese as a blue and the Viper as a yellow, guys. Because I think these colors is a good contrast. Are you okay or not? I hopefully hope you are okay. And people love a lot to see the Viper as a yellow. So we're gonna be yellow because yeah, blue and red is always a, is a little bit boring. You know? But still. Uh, civilizations, Khmer versus Japan. We have the ships or not? There you go. Beautiful. It worked at the first attempt. Awesome. Really awesome. This map is a, let's say, hybrid map. Only with the, with Japan, you go for early dock. Hyper Lumber came as well. And what Khmer usually is doing is not going for early dock. You just go up as quick as possible. What? Okay, I thought he was going to go. This population is impossible, but it was housed. He's gonna go up, it's still probably 17 population. 16, 17 population, super quick. And now the question is he's gonna go then a dog and try to kill the fish? It's difficult because the fish are 120 HP, as you can see in the overlay. 
right? But... Hmm... Well, now disappear. you got time to read everything. By the way, guys, tell me one thing. Uh... Tell me one thing, guys. Do you read the overlays? Because if I'm adding the overlays there for the civilization and you don't read the overlays, I'm not going to put them anymore. I mean... Well, but you know, uh, Localo, but m there's many people that, that have no idea about the sys. For example, all my mods are reading because they have no clue about the game. You know what I mean? So, but... Other than my mods. You guys reading or not? Okay. Okay, okay. It's good. <laughs> Send your damage. You are a subscriber again. Okay. All right. Now, as I was telling you, Vilese is going up. 17 population. A super tight build order. But guys, with Khmer, we have seen exactly this same strategy every single game they go up they make the dog now they try to kill now the viper is getting idle to see not really it's just doing another billier two 23 moons thank you for the suit man vamos amigos we need to bring a scarlet scarlet anyway the viper can't see the goal but that's not a surprise it's exploring everything let's go to yellow point of view obama because it's gonna go militias? Well, it's Japan, makes sense. But Khmer usually is gonna go for a fire galley and then a forward RT range. But you need to see it. And he see the barrack. He see the barrack. This is really good. The exploration here is really good for Vilese. Yeah, he need to go away and he can't compete now. Well, the fish is gonna be gone. And now, he's gonna try to make an RT range forward. If he's doing malicious, I'm not sure about that, but he will have to wall. This is a problem. Vilea is stuck. You need to wall this area. Also, the malicious are there. So, he's stuck, man. That Vilea. You need to wall a lot now. RT range forward, still nice but dangerous. And the Viper is gonna have fire galleys. We will see. The fire galley is there already, and time to kill the fish. He's gonna make a tower on the goal. To be completely safe. This is very nice. Okay, Veles is gonna kill the fish. Or maybe not, we'll see. He's gonna take time. And now he wall in the last second. There was a hole all the time doing the house, and he's fine. But guys, he has no food, Vilese. Zero food, Vilese, man. He's gonna make a farm now, 47 food. You need to drop. He drop it and make the valley. But, he's killing the fish or not? He will. He's doing another fire galley. And now, we'll kill that one with a scout. Love it. The men at arms are going, but this tower is gonna help a lot. It's a good tower. And ladies and gentlemen, he's doing an outpost here. He gonna see now probably the mill. Took the fish. Two fishing ships actually. And he's gonna have the water control. And here with the men at arms, he should be fine. I think Belese has a very good position here. He can see now the farm, so he knows that the mill is there. And with that tower, he can't really do any damage there. Huh? Eh? It's okay. The arches are coming. And he's gonna send. Two arches is not an oath, and without fletching even less. With three arches and the scout, he can do the damage. He's gonna kill the farm. He can't kill it. Okay. Dangerous position here. The lesson now going with the aggression. Viper react quite fast. The farm is gonna be bye-bye. 60 wood already gone. 60 wood. He's taking the house, but he's micro here with three arches now. Three arches is no joke. Three arches is no joke, and Viper need to go back right away. And he's doing a really good job. Really good job. He has army. Three arches, but going forward or what? Well, he's gonna take that house. And the arches are coming, but... He might need those arches with, with fletching, guys. Oof. The difference will be huge. Massive, I would say. 
Now the Viper is so important. Still, he's creating a lot of chaos. Check the efficiency. The efficiency for the Viper. 50%, 67. Now he's gonna take this one. No, Viper is now microing a little bit better. And with less army. Sick micro by the snake. He has to be careful. And now is when I zoom in, guys. I only zoom in in the battles. Doing a palisade gate, the farm that he deleted. He has to be careful, but still with more archers. He's really, really dangerous situation. Taking the archers, he's can snowball. If he take those archers, ay, 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 the micro, so important here. And still no fletching for any, oh my God. Oh my Lord. And guys, Vilesse here is doing a great job. Vilesse is housed now, oof. He's doing the house here with more volumes, man. In those moments, a stable. He's not doing the fletching. I'm not sure about that. I'm really not sure about that. I mean, he's now doing a lot of farms. The scout can help a lot. Well, he has skirmishes. It makes sense. He has more skirmishes than archers. He has now all these skirmishes. Doing two archers too, but I don't know. We'll see. He's taking the houses, man. So just make more. Wow. Well, that's been really annoying, but now this stable is gonna work. And Viper cannot see yet the stable. And that's a problem. It's a real problem. All right. He's gonna make more houses? Yes, because he's housed again. Two galleys, and he's taken. The let's see, micro like a god. Till now. Please check the KD. It's insane, seriously. It's insane. I know that I'm only gonna tell you something. If Vilesa is doing the blast, the blast bit and have the fletching, it will be over. If he will have in those arches fletching, it will really, really will be over because he could really snowball. Snowball for sure. The arches are coming again. And he's there. No fletching, but the scouts are coming. He's gonna try to kill those. He has to be careful using the village. Is what I'm telling you. Fletching is the key here. He does have the fletching, and with fletching, it will be domination. But he forced now the Viper to make a tower, and this is a lot of farms. Very nice game. Really, really nice game. Velessa is coming. He's a wall. He's a wall Viper here. He's not walling, and this is a problem now because now those are gonna be villages down. The scouts killing a villager. Okay, only one. Actually, he's respecting the Viper. Yeah, he is respecting the snake. He has no blast with it, still he's gonna mine a stone. Okay. Interesting. Obviously, in these kind of situations, the lesser economy is much better. Why? Check at the food income right now. He has a lot of farms. The scout, bye-bye. He's trying to wall. And he's disturbing all the time. Disturbing all the time. Yeah. He's really unable to really do anything. If he killed the dog, he can also go for fish. But fletching is what is missing. Resources for the Viper, his economy is a disaster right now. Check his food income, basically. It's nothing. It's really nothing. Oh boy, he's doing the blast bit forward, more archers going around, having all the map control, the food. And the goal, everything is going really well. Who is this Bilez, man? Now I understand the Moticon. This Terminator, man. He's playing really well this game. I mean, the Viper is reacting really fast, but the timing, the momentum. And guys, check the economy average for the snake. Now Fletching. He's doing the house here. He's walling. Yes, but Fletching. No double bit tags, no horse collar. No horse collar also for... For Velese, he need to control those scouts. He has to be careful. And now, it's just time to make the market. He's doing a tower to be full defend at home. Okay. Yeah, he cannot get any damage, actually. All right. Yeah, but now Viper is having a lot of gold. So market can work as well for him. Nah. This is now sick. He's going to make fish. Not really. So the, the water is kind of useless now. If he's doing the market, Khmer economy, sick. But now no farms, no wood. He's coming with his army. He has Viper now, good amount of army, but still less army than Velese. He has, ooh, he dive in because he know that in the in the TC there is not, is this a hole? No, he's going in this tower, but how do you defend here now? Not gonna defend the goal. He's gonna make the palisade gate, he's late, he's late, he's late. And now Velese is gonna pick the village and, and Viper is, 
pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. Vileza is playing absolutely amazing. He dive in with the archers. He's gonna kill the, the economy. And not only that, he's gonna take archers here on the process. GG call. This is what you call a domination by Vileza in the first game. My goodness. Whoa. What a gameplay here by Vileza. I mean, seriously. Very, very nice. The Viper usually start slow in the in the series, but uh, I don't know, man. That was sick. Statistics, military, 16-6, economy. As you can see, Velese with more food, more gold, not by much, but the food. But the most important was the, 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 the control of the map. And he was going to go up, guys. Look at his resources. It was very nice. It was really, really nice. All right. All right, all right. We're going to see now game number two. That is going to be what? I'm going to keep this scene, guys. So I think this is better than the other one because I can put here. I have, as you can see, I have Neely's channel in several scenes. So I think I have set up this very cool. Hopefully you enjoy it. Very cool for, for the stream. And with the 1440p resolution, I believe that you can see it's big enough, right? It, it, it is really big enough. You see pretty much everything or not. I hope so. I hope you do. I hope you do. Okay, the next game is going to be Arabia. Pretty crazy, actually, the first game. Like, it, it, it's been domination, honestly. It's really been domination. Okay. They started, guys. They started, and we're going. Vamos, amigos. This is now a very interesting match. Arabia, game number two. And it's going to be... Oh, boy. Byzantines Vilese, the Viper Mongols on Arabia. Okay. I mean, it depends a lot how you're going to play. Both civilizations can have good chances here, but I prefer Byzantines. You know, I I really prefer Byzantines. Yeah, well, well, let's see, man. Let's see. Let's go for the civilization. Like, it feels dangerous. It's not that Mongols cannot kill the Byzantines. Don't take me wrong. You know? But, uh, I don't know. You got the overlay there. And now you can see everything, amigos. Vilese map, I don't like it because his goal is terrible. But the Viper goal is terrible as well. In front, full open map finally for the Viper. Goal also at the back here. Not looking good. Not really looking good. Okay. And now walling everything till the edge of the map. Interesting. Very interesting. 17 population for the Viper, 17 for Vilese. I believe that Byzantine, sorry, uh, Mongols will go up quicker with the, with the hand bonus. And into what? You can either go scouts, but the scouts against Byzantines, you can spam spears. Yeah. Vilese is gonna make uh, all arena. Okay. And now after this Valir, this kind of... No, he's just going to make the Luna and go up. Obviously, the Viper is going to go up quicker. He didn't find those ships. Remember that it's important because you start with nine villages, but you start with less ships than in the standard three villages. Because they, they start with what it should be more or less the resources and at two minutes and 30 seconds. Would you know? That's relative because you can always get lamed or whatever. So they make the calculation about that and... Well, he's on the way to Feudal Age Vilesa now. With one population more. Viper is not mining gold. He's gonna find out the ships. Because otherwise, no food in the bank. No food under the TC, but they say. 
Yeah, Viper has explored everything and he see now the house. So he know where he is now. So, well, the goal is exposed, but he's safe already. Bully wall, uh, Velese. Viper is not mining goal and. Okay. Uh, Vilese has no barrack, even. He might do it now. All right. In this spot. Or even more forward. More forward, even. I like it. Between the barrack now. 85%, so it's gonna be not really in time. And now it's stable. But the Viper is gonna get a surprise. Uh, Vilese will wall everything. Literally everything. So is Vilese also gonna make it stable? Or what? He's doing double attacks. The scout. You have to be careful. Viper can see now that his opponent is kinda wall. And himself is just doing so far now. Horse collar too. I like it. That's very nice. Did the horse collar right away, so his economy is gonna be smooth. Very smooth. He's doing RT range. So he's gonna go spears and skirmishers. Old styles Byzantines. Oh man. Well. If you spam army with Byzantines, sick. Really sick. Remember, 25% discount on their army. That's a lot. Now he delete that one. And soon he'll do... Yeah, he'll go for gold. So he's gonna go with skirmishes, archers, skirms, and a spear. Hmm. Okay. No, no, no. Go with the two spears forward. And the Viper can see the archer range already. So... The snake will have to do what? As soon as he can an RT range, but for now he has a lot of farms. That's a good economy. Yeah, but now he's coming aggressive. With two spears and one archer. Between the skirmishers, till he's getting an old gold. Yeah, this is a position that... Vilesi is gonna love it. He's gonna love it because... What he doesn't like is to get attack at home. He's fully walled. He has Byzantines that also got Tone Watch. So you see everything. Better than with any other civilization without doing the upgrades. The spears are there. The micro from the Viper need to be solid. And it will be. So, between our archers and the next build will be a Blasmith. Viper is gonna have a problem because the deers, the hunters are there. And he's coming with well, at least one archer, but the two spears. Uh oh. But now he will have to go back. Or not. Viper has four scouts and... No, no, no. Yeah, it's gonna send two archers more. And this is gonna be annoying. He has the skirmisher, but... If he micro properly, the scouts won't do anything. Like, really anything. He needs to micro now. He's sending the village. But this is starting to create chaos. This is starting to create chaos. Why Viper... Is two villages behind. Did he make Tone Watch? But even like that, why is two villages behind? I don't understand. He's being housed? No, it will be at LTC. The house affected to, to the production of military. Tone which is two no tone which is one villager. Tone which is one villager, not two. Tone which is one villager, not two. Okay, both got the loom, and now there's a lot of farming for Velese with fletching. A lot of farming. He's fully wall at home. So now he can attack. Doing the horse collar now. Yeah, and, and in this kind of situation, Velese feel absolutely great. His opponent got fletching too, but only five skirmishers. While he's coming with four skins, four arches, and four spears. All right. Okay. Byzantine spam army is so cheap, guys. So cheap. Let's see the micro here. He's going to make Dena stable... 
the Lessig, he will need a house here, and now let's see the micro. Maybe a stable will be good, or he's just gonna go with full, full spear skirmishes and go up. Yeah, sending more skirms. Maybe the armor will be good now for Velese. We'll see. Also, he need to keep alive the spears, because if he's catching that army with the scouts, poof, disaster. The KD is a little bit better for the Viper, 3-1. But he's getting the hill advantage. Economy is looking good for the snake. But he's gonna, he's gonna lose good as well. No, no, no. The Spears, look at that micro for both players. Now Viper is playing solid. 4-1. Smooth play by the snake. That skirmish is gonna go to the damn hell, but doesn't matter, we'll borrow. Okay, didn't kill it. And now he get the hill. Still two villains more for... For Velese, and coming with the Spears, not gonna be able, man. He got too many units. He's now killing some. The KD is getting closer, and... It's going forward there. Will borrow, and he's gonna do something else. Not really. Keep going the standard. One barrack and one archer range. Full feudal aggression. Viper economy is looking good, but Velese is looking good as well. Yeah, they are controlling fine. Now 5-4. Still killing more of those units. The Viper... Sick, sick farming, 19. But, let's say 17. It's not so behind. And with Will Barrow already, whoa. So, Will Barrow and just only one villain behind, that's pretty sick. He's doing the stable house. And remember that you can go camels 25% cheaper as well. But the snake is about to go up. No problem. Velez is gonna go up too. But the scouts are now coming and he's gonna catch up the archer. That's the bad thing. He has the mobility with those scouts. And now, he's coming, man, with another one. And Archer is gonna be bye-bye too. That's not good. He's taking more. And now here, he has to be careful. Guys, both players on the way to Castleage almost the same time. And in my opinion, a little bit better economy for Velese. For obvious reasons. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. He's doing gold mine and upgrade. And now, Velese that is playing so clinic. Here, you know, doing a good job. He's gonna go Lancers. Not a good business against Byzantine's go Lancers, in my opinion. Not a good business, but let's see. Remember, Gamer Legion trademark. Dravidians and Step Lancers. Stay tuned. All right, and now, with the Spears, Skirmishes and Arches in top of that hill. Scalebard in armor, okay. Viper lost 26 seconds, I don't see, you are right. He didn't click it, and now he's gonna clean this. Well, he's doing a good job, he's cleaning this army. Yeah, but you can spam. You can spam always with Byzantines, and he's sending more. He's gonna make a second stable, oh my god. Vilesi is just gonna spam units. He's gonna spam army with the Byzantines, seriously. He has to be careful, he's on top of that kill. He should do maybe some scout, nah. He's just gonna go camels right away. Camels right away. Yeah, both are gonna go up almost the same time. He has a skill bar in armor and now forging. He has bloodlines, uh, the Viper, but Viper is losing scouts that is more expensive. So, even if he's losing this army, the Viper is losing all the scouts. And they are with bloodlines and, and a skill bar in armor. So, this is okay for Valencia, even if you see that the score is say the opposite. It's Dev Lancers. And now, Camel Rider, the Lancers. Chain bard in armor, whoa, well, that's more than okay. I mean, the KD, it's what is boost his, his score. But right now, Velesa is just fine. And with the upgrades he's doing, it's gonna be even more fine, you know? Anyway, let's see. Remember that now Velesa has Tone Patrol, not Tone Watch, you know? Tone Patrol, so you see everything, man, everything. Camels as well. Okay, so he started with a couple of Lancers, and now Camels. I like it. This TC is fantastic, and another TC that is good. Very similar for both. Going for the Monks. So, let's see. He's housed Viper again. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. The house is Viper. He's housed, so he's not producing units. And now, he's gonna take those. He has Husbandry and Chainbard in armor, so basically, he can spam whatever he wants. So cheap, and you get the better upgrade. And guys, will borrow still, so the game is extremely close. Those camels are a little bit better for Vilesi, if you ask me. He's taking the battle, not anymore. 
you have to be careful with the monks. I think the only good thing here is that Viper has the monastery. And he can heal, convert, and the most important now, take the relics. Double monastery. Oh. Okay. But if you go double monastery, now he's doing the monastery. All right. Yeah, the conversion is going to be really important. 64 population, 59. Let's see the battle. It's coming with the camels. No, no, no. No, 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 no. 12 camels, 10. He got more. He's going to convert. Oh, this is bad. He's going to kill one monk. He's going to kill another. He converted. He didn't, right? I don't think he converted. Oh, he converted one. Uh, let me check. He converted. He converted one, guys. He did one conversion. Yes, I'm clicking and he has the plus two. Now he's gonna kill that one. Ooh, and he lost that one too. This is a very good battle for the Viper. Really good approach here. Amazing. Viper is still 21 army, 12 camels. Well, both with 12 camels, but eh, if he got seven skirmishes. That's useless army right now. Useless army. He can see relics. Uh, yeah, he can take also that relic. And now, the plus two, it matters. You have to now commit with all and go away. 13 camels and you can spam camels forever. The monk is here and he's gonna kill those. He's going to convert. No, no, no. Piper need the plus two as well, but he's not doing. Three TCs, guys. In this kind of games, he feels so comfortable. But let's say six villains ahead, man. And now the siege war is up because he's coming. It's, it's, with the skirmishes, but doesn't matter if you ask me. It really doesn't matter. Let's see the camels now. Okay. The monk is the problem here. The monk is the problem. You can lose the monk against skirmishes, and he won't. Micro is gonna be real? No. On the left with a scout, because the relic is there, but he cannot even see the relic. He's gonna try to counter attack. You got the tone center, so maybe you can. Ooh, almost losing that monk. Aye, aye, aye. Okay, he's still spamming camels, and the problem is, the real problem is that you can't really compete with Byzantine camels. Not because they are better, because they are cheap. You know, they are on sale, 25% on sale, so, you know, my goodness. Okay. He's not buying a stone. Uh-oh, he's coming with those monks. He's coming and there's two monks. He's gonna bat he's gonna take the battle, but why? No. Okay, he's gonna bring it to the other two monks as well. He wants to take a battle. Hand card already, but guys, the problem here is that Vilese is gonna go up to Imperial faster than his opponent. So if you go only camels, you're not gonna be able to compete. He should do probably the plus two attack. Hand card is great, but this is dangerous. He's gonna be careful. He's gonna convert. No, he didn't convert. But Viper is still taking relics, man. All the relics? Maybe. In the long run, can't work. Can't really work. Uh, he has one relic here, so he's fine. And now, he's not going. How many camels? So many camels. Still spamming camels. More camels for blue. Bloodlines... Or chain bar and armor. What is better in this situation? I think in this situation I prefer Byzantines. Plus two. Bloodlines is really good. But well, there's monks. We'll see now. He's going to convert. The monks are going to be the mango now. He's going to convert now. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see the battle. He's gonna take the monk. He's now gonna make the battle here with the plus two. He's gonna micro. Oh my god, that micro by Vilesse. That micro by Vilesse. What was that? Just go back, man. No patrolling or what? He did a micro well. Ooh. Army now. Viper better. More villains for, for Valesa, but you can spam army. And now crossbows and botkin arrow. Well, if you spam now crossbows with these camels, dangerous. Very dangerous. He take a camel now and he's going back. He's definitely going back. Oh boy. So many camels. He's still spamming camels too and crossbows. Crossbows eat camels. He's going to convert another. He converted another one. Whoa. Army number for Valesa is starting to be scary. He has more camels than the Viper. 
The skirmishes are used five right now and university. Look at this. He's gonna make a castle. He has a stone for a castle. I don't know. The scores say that the Viper is ahead, but this is still dangerous. It's true that now he's starting to mine a stone, but the timing, the momentum in Imperial is gonna be for Velese that is about to click up. He's doing gold south mining, all the average, and that castle is sick. It's really sick. Okay. Good thing. Look at the camels. He can see all the camels. He's gonna come back or not? Velese? Uh? Juice going back. Ay, ay, ay. But now those TCs are with Botkin. Sick. He's gonna make the castle? He still do it. With two bullets only? No. He's coming with more camels and the game... The game is... Is really nice. But... Velese? Control the units, man. But... You're gonna lose maybe one or two bullets. No problem because now he can trap. Ooh. And, the ca and now the monks are not there. Ay, ay, ay. Viper is going to take a really terrible battle. Terrible battle. Terrible battle for the Viper. Losing a lot. Losing a lot of units here. So many camels down and killing a lot of HP as well. That wasn't great. That really wasn't great for the snake. And he's going to keep trying. And the lesser army now. He soon commit. He got a lot more. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Population. 92 villains, 42. The Viper is on the way to Imperial, but there's one problem here. The Viper with Mongols need, in my opinion, a lot more economy than Byzantines. And now, Viper is gonna lose absolutely everything. Ladies and gentlemen, Pilese is with a total domination mode activated. Look at the population. Look at the score! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! It looks so bad for the snake now. Skirmishers, if you are doing skirmishes with Mongols, you know that you are going to be bye-bye. Krobos are coming. Those are with Ballistic. Obviously, he... Oh, he see the castle also. And guys, if he come with a castle forward here, but let's say, and now he can. He has the timing, the momentum. He has the camels, the Krobos, he has everything. The score is close, but guys... He's gonna be an Imperial. Byzantines is so good civilization. I mean, they're great. They're really great. Buy the stone, make a castle, poo -poo push and game over. Seriously. We'll see. Maybe he doesn't need to do it because he has the timing. One minute ahead. Oh my God. He's gonna make another castle, but now he's up to Imperial. Plus three and Trebuchet coming, right? Trebuchet coming. He's gonna kill the monks. Look at the amount of monks. He's gonna lose all the monks. Man, the monks, the monks, the monks. Viper! What happened, man? Oh my god, all the monks to the damn hell. And now the camel to the damn hell. As well, siege workshop, chemistry, so bomber cannons. And how many villains on gold for the Viper right now? Please, guys, tell me. How many villains on gold for the Viper in 35 minutes? Zero! Zero villains on gold for the Viper. That's terrible. And the 2 0 is almost there. The 2 0 is getting closer and closer. 160 population. Byzantine is a snowball civilization. And the snake is doing skirmishes. Mongols is good if you have the, 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 the initiative. But in this situation, not looking good. Looking awful, actually. Arbales and a castle here is gonna be deadly really really deadly anyway he's gonna go back he got the skirmishers those are with the plus three he's losing all the the monks the kd is almost the same but right now the amount of army for Byzantines is 45 the viper 15 he's gonna come with a castle forward here man. yeah whatever the castle is gonna be down i don't know man i really don't know where is he gonna make the, the second castle He's doing Bomber Cannons. He's Cousin Velese. If not, he could be 200 pop. All right. That's pretty sick, guys. Pretty, pretty sick. Killing all those skirmishes, going with more camels. He has to be careful. The castle is gonna die. Even block printing for the monks. Man, Byzantines just get all the answers, man. They just get all the damn answers. Jimsha! How you doing, man? Eh, the Trevor's is alone. It's fine. I mean, Viper has his skirms. I don't know if you know, Jimsha, but with the skims, you don't kill the traps. Hand card, okay. He has to be careful there. Yeah, and he's wasting, but now he's going with the camels. 
This core defense is not so big. So... Oh, he's playing safe. Doing castle at home. Gonna make another castle there. Well, if he kills this castle, he's, he's completely bye-bye. He's just defending with the with the buildings. He has the bomber cannon that is gonna take the trap. He can take the trap or not with the bomber cannon? Absolutely. Heavy camels now. Yeah, he has no army to counter this. He's full of skirmishes, guys. He's full of skirms. Bomber cannon down. But the castle won't won't uh, be repaired forever, I believe. He can do the camels plus four armor. Let's see. Three trebuchet. Sandville is to repair. Look at the bomber cannon trying to kill the skirms. No, no, no. Now, Vilesi is controlling the army worse than in the rest of the game. I think he's feeling a little bit that that anxiety for, for, for finish the game, you, you know? But the camels are heavy now. Heavy camels, 20 HP more, more attack. Bomber cannons killing the skirmishes. I still think that this should be game for Vilesi because Viper just got nothing. All these skirmishes, man. And with the skirms, you don't win Byzantines. Impossible. They don't have the plus four. He's coming with the bomber cannons. Just kill the buildings. Yeah. I mean, he could do even rams if he wanted. Even rams if he wanted. He's gonna raid with some scouts, okay? Taking one trap. But no more stone for the Viper. He has spent 1,000 stone. And now, when he sends the traps, he's gonna take the relics. Yeah, four relics in the, in the hell. More trebuchets, he's gonna repair more. He has a stone to make a castle there. And he's slow death for the snake. But uh, Vinci, uh, damn, Vilesi is doing an amazing job. And now the Viper will surrender because he has nothing to stop this. And with those bomber cannons, crazy, crazy stuff. He's gonna lose that one, but the snake is about to call it. G, G, call in a minute. G, G, call. Unbelievable, man. Really unbelievable. Vilesse playing so well. Really, really well. Using the civilization properly. And ay, ay, ay. Ay, 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 ay. Well, great stuff here, guys. Great stuff here. Let's put the, let's bring the, the monitor. Thank you so much for the bitch. And uh, 101 APM, so he's playing fast, but that battle with the camels was insane. Vilesi, 71 largest army, 37. And let's be honest, except that the Viper, that the Mongols are ahead, if you are in an even game, how the hell, how the hell do you kill the, the Byzantines? Like, seriously, I will play a nat. I prefer Byzantines, man. Seriously. I, I prefer Byzantines. I don't know what you think, but I really prefer Byzantines, honestly. But well. Yeah, but what you do, Perilis? What you do against them? What you do? Yeah, but... Yeah, what'd you do, man? Hey, it's so difficult, man. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, the game three started, guys. Game three started. You can see they are focused. Ooh. Okay, Viper hands, Vilesse Franks. In this one, depend how you play, but hands are hands, you know? And if you play properly here, hands should be great. Because if you go aggressive in feudal, you can make bloodlines. You have faster production with the stables. And then Cav Arches can be deadly, you know? But if you don't get that going, Franks is still so smooth. So this matchup, it's really, really interesting. Really interesting. I personally prefer Frank, uh, Hans, because I feel that they have more 
more answers, more it's more versatile. But if let's keep going nice with Franks and can also go with his economy and in castle drop castles, oof, it is dangerous still. You know, I prefer hands. In this situation, I think Vipers will be happy with the matchup. Let's see. Let's see what they do. For now, we are not going to analyze a lot about the map because generally in this map there is a lot of resources. You know? He can take the ships as well. He can see them. As you can see. But Viper map, it's okay. I mean, this part is very open, but berries, gold, stone, everything is wallable. Very wallable, actually. And here the same as, as actually for Velese. Very similar. You know? Obviously, economy, Frank's echo, man. Uh, anytime. But guys, the Viper need to win now. Because if he's not winning, the snake is in trouble. But just look what Viper has done first. He did the mill instead of the lumber camp. I like it. More food, faster uptime, and the aggressive domination. He's gonna go up 19 population, Vilese. And the Viper? Probably the same. Actually, no. He's gonna make two Vilese more. Oh, it's gonna be slower than, than Vilese. What? Even more? 21 pop? Uh, oh boy. Oh, really, boy. Well, the kills. If you check the map, there's all flat on main base and the hits are kinda in the middle of the map so you can't just avoid them because your base is flat hills are close to the edge of the map farther, you know for the later game that you're gonna drop some castles but guys here we are with another lumber camp in this area he need to explore a little bit and make the lumber camp here not here please oh god here. Well, depending on what he's gonna do. I mean, it's fine, but I think it's better here. And then you wall and, you know. Anyway, he will need some walls. Okay. Velese is exploring. Viper, don't. He's up 20 population. Velese 19. It's always nice to be up faster. Always nice. Let's see, in this kind of games, if he's not walling, Viper is better player. Like, uh, in an open map situation, Viper is faster player. So he should be stronger than Velese. So let's see. No, no, they didn't. They didn't see each other. But he's going to the left now. All right. He's up. He's gonna make double attacks. Not really. He's gonna wait for the stable first. And then... Stable. In this area. Alright. Even more forward. And then Palisade. He will do double attacks and now he can see everything. And... That's a villain, man. Deny it. Deny that. No? He could have denied that. What the hell? Just passing. Alright. And he's sending already a spear forward, trying to be annoying. He has the, the advantage, the timing, the momentum. But guys, he forgot double attacks, Velese. Or, or maybe he didn't forget. He just didn't do it. Because he couldn't do it. Uh-oh, how's it? And he's idle TC for Velese. Bad, man. That's bad. That's really bad. Already 17 seconds. That's basically a Velier. Not a Velier, but almost. Yeah, it's already bad for Velese. You have to be so smooth in this matchup. So smooth, really. Anyway, Wally more. Doing the houses and he will wall eventually. But he has a spear forward. He has more army. Velese is taking the initiative. So he's going and try to go together. No, the scout for Franks is stronger. Remember, more HP. To spears and now you need to be quicker with the APM, Mr. Velese. He's chasing those. And yeah, I mean, if Viper is not attacking Velese economy, Velese is happy. Because it's gonna be walling, it's gonna be fine. Dolo Taxis is still not done. Good thing is that he's a spam farm and he got horse cola for free. 
But now, the spear is there. Where's the other spears? At home. And he's going still forward aggressive. Trying to be aggro. All right. He's going to make double attacks or not? No. He's doing more scouts. But he should... He could cancel one and... Yeah, I mean, he need the upgrade. Viper walling everything. It's gonna be in time. Let's see the speedo for the Viper. It was wall. And now, he's open here. But he has a spears. It's fine. He has army. Still, no double attacks is bad. It's really bad. And now I think that Velesi just forgot about that. Of course, he has a good amount of army. I would say more army than the snake. Didn't kill anything yet. And the scouts? The scouts are here with a kill. Ay, ay, ay. And where's the spear? He got more, so... Yeah, he's gonna send a spear and he's gonna be fine. Ooh, he's diving in. And it's usually more complicated to, to do the job with... With the hands because there's no houses, but Viper is walling everything. He's gonna go back and at the end, all good. Here, two more scouts inside, but taking damage with the TC. And look at the walls, walling everything as well. No, but look at now. Ay, ay, ay. That was bad. He took a lot of damage there. Still, he's fully walled now. Fully wall now, going for the goal. And Frank's economy is disgusting, man. Is seriously is disgusting. Yeah. He still forgot double attacks. So more or less it's the same resources. If you think about this, look at the economy. Now he's doing Will Barrow. No double attacks. So they're going to go up to Castle. It's pretty much the same time. He lost two scouts, Vilese, and it's about the Castle now. Yeah. Even Will Barrow, so pretty much mirror. Pretty much mirror both players. Probably still no double attacks. Okay. Why Viper idle TC? Oh. With those scouts going here. He probably was microing. Also make all these palisades. And then you forget to make villages. It's simple. Yeah. That's why now Vilesa is probably ahead now. In village numbers. Uh oh. No, no, no. CC scouts, two spears. Almost the same army. And same village numbers. But Velese forgot double attacks. It's a problem, but eh. Having the farms, it is okay. And now double is stable. Okay, so he's gonna go knights against Franks. Is going knights against Franks a good business? I'm not sure. Because you gotta be a little bit behind. Seems he's gonna have heavy blow right away. And he's gonna have the bloodlines for free. Hmm. I prefer Cav Arches, honestly. But let's see. Okay. He's walling now. He's going away. He's taking another scout. I don't know if he's going to make... Uh-oh. He's taking a village. He got it. So, 4-1 KD. And I prefer the KD for Vilese. Because he took a village. He's up faster. Still no double attacks. He want to notice now when he's going to make double... Uh, Bozo. And in this kind of game, Velese also feel so good. So let's see. No, but Viper feel, feel great too. So scale bar and armor for both. Did he make Velese gold mine and upgrade? Mm, I don't know. And the problem is that we cannot check. We cannot check. Okay. Bloodlines, skill by the armor, but as I told you. Uh oh, no, no, no. Don't think it's gold mine and upgrade. Now he did. Uh, it's not worth it to make light caps, in my opinion. Or maybe it is, because of the relics and the monks. Mm, okay. More houses. This is pretty standard. I have told you many times that this game is. This map is kinda like like Arabia. Obviously it depends a lot on what civilizations they pick. Guys, what do you think? The stables is better? How could be this 0-2? Uh, why not? Let's say it's a decent player. He's decent player, you know? 
Oh, I forgot to put the seating for these players. My goodness. The Viper number one, I believe it was... Six? It was six? Okay, he's gonna take a failure. Uh, he's going away. Now he's doing double attacks. Gonna make the nice and plus two already. Viper has very good resources as well. Look. Look at the wood he has, my goodness. Yeah. He's gonna make the monastery. Doing an extra tone center. Doing the monastery as well. And now he's starting to make extra TCs here, maybe? That would be a good tone center, right? I don't know. I would do a here. Oh, well, this is better even. You are right, amigo. You are right. The knights are coming, but guys, the 20% production faster for, for the hands is sick. It is really sick. Now the scouts are coming. And you better wall. Because he's coming. Ay, ay, ay. You better wall. Why he's not walling this? I don't know. Well, here's a knight that is going to be there. Husbandry as well. But he's doing light caps. And right now, right now, Belese. Oh, he saved this with the knight. Okay. Yeah, he did the light cap. Light caps can be very nice here. But he has the plus two, guys. The upgrades are much better for Frank. He got the plus two, man. This is a bad battle for the Viper, man. He doesn't notice that his knights are stronger. Much stronger, man. What the hell? Ay, ay, ay. Well, he needed to use all the light caps. And with the light gas, he kind of... All right. He stabilized and do a good job. Yeah. He got the husbandry. So, he should have lose now. And he's going to heal the knights. But still. Uh, Velese has plus two, plus one. While the viper only plus one. He has three tone centers. But is the viper going to have production from all the TCs? It seems like he is. Very nice. Third tone center now. All right. Population almost the same. The less than 47 seconds idle TC. So, good. Really good. Okay, his wall here. And the light guys are coming. He can see it. Let's see his reaction. He's killing those knights and he's gonna go full knights here. It's a knight battle. The problem with these games is it can be an amazing game or. It's a hole, guys. It's a hole, man. It is a hole here. It is a hole. He has the tone watch or not. Well, I cannot click all. Light has been annoying. The monk? You can't lose the monks against the light has like this. The knights are coming. And you need to block. Ooh. Nah. He's not going to lose them. He shouldn't lose them. Oh, maybe he will. Nah. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Oh, what? What the fuck? Seriously? Convert one? Kill everything? Save the monks? What's going on? Like, seriously? All right, and now, and now, and now he's getting closer, trying to convert. He has to be careful. He's going to convert or not? No. Oh, and now, oh, what? Anyway, there's a knight here, and you better notice, he notice immediately. I have to focus, guys, we cannot lose anything, you know? Yeah, man. What the hell? Population the same for both players. Exactly the same. One bad battle is gonna cause the game for the players. And he's coming now. He's gonna send the knight. He's sending with the knights. He's gonna take the monks now. He's going aggressive. Out of position the viper. Need to kill the monk. Gonna kill two monks. Converted one, but he's gonna kill the other. Doesn't matter. He can raid now. And this knight, if he send now, he can do damage, man. Lot of damage. Now he's going to convert another knight. Oh. Oh. He convert everything, Belese. Is Terminator? No. It's, it's, it's Gandalf. My goodness. All right. He's going to go back. He's going to take this one. Convert also and I'm quit. Okay. That's good. All right. Has to be careful, man. 
doing an all stable. 85 population, now Viper 94. More army for the snake. Now hands are dangerous. If he's still spamming knights, it is dangerous. This knight he forgot. Shh, don't tell anything, guys. He's there with one, and he forgot about that. Anyway, starting to mine a stone. Franks is sick civilization still. He's gonna kill? The good thing is that he's raiding. He's trying to attack all the time. Nice. Attacking the house. That's what you want. Kill a Belier. And don't get converted. He converted another. That's not good. You give more and more army your opponent. All right. He's gonna do more army or not? He's trying. All right. Two relics, the Viper, one relic. And this knight forgot forever. I like the Viper numbers, but I feel that that he's in a in a dangerous position because he's about to get raided all the time. Now he can't kill Billies, he's gonna kill Billies, man. Gonna make another TC. He's gonna kill many Billies now. Oh my god, his economy is getting destroyed now. Ay, ay, ay. It's true that now he has a lot of farming. So, at home... What? It, now I understand. Husbandry now is super slow. It's super late, if you ask me. Husbandry is crucial. It is really crucial. And economy for Veles is going to keep growing and growing. Okay, we'll see. He's going back now. He's going to make another tone center. This is going to be three relics already. So he's ahead with the relics. We'll see, guys. Like one big battle can just be definitive. Right now, Viper has more army. He has the still much better upgrades. Uh, Vilese? Nah, don't take this battle. He got a lot here. He really got a lot. He's going to convert. He's going to convert one or not? He has the monk. Oh boy, Vilese, the monks. You know that you have monks here? Oh, wow. So many knights for the snake now. So many. And also few light caps doing forging. He's gonna make the TC, he's gonna finish. He's gonna do more knights as well now, more stables. Okay. The amount of army is insane now. Insane. They know that they have to go with many, many armies. So what's gonna happen here? Well, what is can happen is that he's gonna convert that, that's good. No, 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 that's a bad battle. He has the TC. He has the, to put Willis on the tone center. And now this they got a lot of army. A lot of army, but... The plus two helps a lot. No, no, no. You don't want to take this battle here. And now, Vilesi will drop a castle. Soon. Where? I will delete the house and I will make a castle here. In this spot. Why not? Delete the house and castle there. He has to be careful. He's a spamming knight. He has two monks behind this. He's gonna take more relic. Let's see the battle. The DC is there. I'm not sure about this battle for the Viper. He has 33 knights, but he's where the reinforcement. So, so gonna kill the monk now. Ay, ay, ay. Where's the castle now for Velese? I don't know. The Viper population now is insane. Really good. Like, really, really good. Controlling the nice leg. So smooth. And he's spamming. He need a castle. He's gonna make the castle or not? He has the stone, but he's not doing the castle. Viper is doing the castle here. Okay. And now what? Where's the castle for Velese? The score is exploding now. It's really exploding. Uh-oh. It's non-stop doing army. 38 knights. I love it. Where's the, the, the castle now for the lesson? I don't know. Converting another knight. Now plus two. Hands are hands in this kind of battles. You know, this is a great castle if he's doing. It's a very good one. Let's see if he's going to be able to do it. So many knights. He's trying to commit. Bill is on the TC. No. He's trying to, to take these battles. And ladies and gentlemen, I have the feeling that this is the 2-1. Still for the for the lesser, but Viper is taking this game. Or not. Army, a lot of knights. He's dying. He's losing everything. And this is over. Hands are hands. And the Viper is still in the series. But... Okay. 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 No, but still, this is so great. The castle is up now. Put the villains in. He need to wall. He's not walling. And... Oh my god, Viper. Woo! It's losing a lot. Look at the Echo KD, actually. If he walled here and not getting raided, he will be okay. But guys, 2,000 score difference. 2,000 score difference because right now, 30 knights, 8 knights, is trying to convert... The snowball in these knight's battles are just too, it's too much. Too much. He got TCs. 
but he's raiding all over. And now, I mean, if he raid, oh, he's gonna send Billy's there. Okay. Yeah, but he lost every. It's GG, guys. It's game over. And I told you that in this kind of approaches, if there is back and forth and raid, if Vilesa is not wall, if Vilesa is not wall, Viper is better player. I mean, that's a hundred percent. GG called the Viper took the game with a domination. And why this happened? Because his APM is sick. 101 APM. 10177. So in those situations, you're gonna control everything. And Hans, Hans is just amazing. Really, really amazing. Let's check the statistics here. Military, he killed double economy. It was similar. He got the difference with the economy at the end, but he was having army, more army all the time. And at the end, 125 bullets, 99. Whoa. All right. So we are going to see now game number four. That is going to be probably arena. It's going to be probably arena. But guys, the Viper in arena, don't think he feels terrible, you know? Don't think he feels terrible. Don't think he feels terrible. You, you, you got to tell me, right? Okay. All right, amigos. I'm just setting up everything. One second. Those games back and forth, I like it, but you know what? They get me super tired, guys. Like, really, really tired. My goodness. Are they started or not? It's Arena, guys, and we're starting. Let's go, guys. Let's really go. My goodness. Okay. Guys, there you go. We keep going. Game number four. Vilese versus the Viper. Turks and a Spanish. Well, 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 well. This matchup is so interesting. Spanish has a lot of things to say here, guys. A lot of things to say here. Turks much better. Why? Why Turks much better? If it was arena map, yes, but this is not arena map. This is sellout arena, you know? And sellout arena is to benefit the boom, you know? And uh, Spanish, they don't have a lot of things to say in late game. Come on, they get an amazing, amazing tech, you know? Let's see, they have Hussars, they have Halberdiers, Bombard Towers, Bombard Cannons, Paladins, Monks. Kongs, Seas Rams. Yeah, I. but I still prefer Turks as well. I was trying to, to just to hide my, my, my country, you know? But yeah, I prefer, I prefer Turks, you know? <laughs> Missionary, I prefer Turks, you know? Yeah, well, it's what it is, you know? No, I mean, with a map that, that big, Let's see, because let's be honest, if, for example, the Leslie is going Janissars in Castellage, what do you prefer in Castellage, Janissars or Kongs? Janissars or Kongs? Because I prefer Kongs. The Kongs are going to destroy the Janissars. Big time, you know? But the thing is, if I was Vilesse, I would go light gaps in Castellage. Co Kongs uh, cost more, uh, they are both expensive. You know, they're both expenses. So let's put the, the civilizations, you know? Oh, did I put the civilizations already? I will put a guy. Why? Because it's my country. It's what it is. What the hell? It's what it is, man. Yeah. Four villages on Berry. What they have? Oh, and the most important, guys. A castle drop is easy with the villages, you know? People think, guys, that I say this as a joke, but remember that you all you are not all the time in my channel, right? I'm gonna tell you something. 
I'm Spanish and I am the exception over the rule. You know me as a as a as a really hard worker, right? I'm a stream a lot. I I hard work a lot in Twitch, right? Spanish people working faster. I mean, building faster. <laughs> Seriously, man. Siesta faster, but other than the siesta faster, <laughs> well, you know, let me drink some water. I mean, seriously, man. I mean, but not me, because I never take siesta, you know? Okay. And well, you know, and now seriously, what is more fun is the, the trade bonus. I mean, the... Microsoft has seen a Spanish economy, the, the trade bonus, 25% more. I mean, what the hell, man? A Spanish famous for working hard for little pay. That's true, Macausland. That's true, Macausland. That's really true. I mean, the salaries here in Spain are, I'm gonna tell you. Let me just go. Uh, Full Titanic, full Titanic, man. Full Titanic, man. Seriously, man. Spain is new Roma Romania economy, probably, probably. Anyway, why we're talking about this, guys? Because you're gonna join the channel, and you're gonna say, "What is this?" You know, uh, you know, is is Age of Empires a stream or, or Wall Street Journal? Well, I mean, it's a good point, right? It's not Wall Street Journal, but this map, the most beautiful this map has right now is the sellout, the hippo. Because let's be honest, it looks cool. It's cute, you know, really cute. Other than that, we have to wait. Market and Blastmith for the Viper, you know? Market and Blastmith, stone at the back, goal. So he's gonna go Kongs. Oh boy. He can see this table? No. All right. There is two possibilities here. Viper is doing the castle at home or is going forward castle. Do you see Viper going forward castle? I don't see it going, but if he's going and then Vilesa is doing the scouts, that's going to be immediately light caps. GG well play, you know? GG well play. Okay. By the way, Macausland, big supporter and crazy friend in the channel. This Sunday, after NAC4 finals, the next main TV tournament. So, guys, please don't leave when the finals finish, okay? And join because we are going to enjoy a lot, you know? We are going to enjoy a lot. I'm telling you, the hype is gonna be real. Turks and Spanish doing a scout or not? Not yet. Viper is not gonna go forward. Viper actually is not gonna have a castle. He's gonna make TCs. Then not gonna go for relics? He's gonna go pure boom? Then he's dead, in my opinion. Yeah, if, if the Turks is just going for the relics and go for some boom and with light caps, Pure Boom, I, I don't like it, man. I really don't like it. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Appreciate it, Tulok. Amazing. An old king, 54 moons. Also link, 827. Awesome. A new subscriber, by the way, in the channel. Awesome. Nice to have new subscribers in the family. Okay, 27, 26. Well, Arthas, this is your favorite map. You cannot complain about Arena. The Viper is booming. Obviously, he's doing the TCs faster because Philly is from Spain. is insane. And... Husbandry. <laughs> well, he's already overcommitting. But what the hell? Sick. He sees that there is nothing else. So maybe Husbandry is not needed. 
Well, it's fine to do it, but you are spending 150 food that he could use for Bozo right now. Okay, he's doing Bozo. Hold there. He's doing everything, man. And now Monastery? This be less below there, man. Two TCs, Husbandry, Lightcaps, and now the Monastery here. What the hell? Piper is just pure boom, guys. Pure boom. All right. He's gonna be a little bit ahead in the list, yes. But I'm telling you, if you are able to take the relics, well, that's that's a lot, man. That's that's really huge. I don't know. Maybe he's just gonna make three TCs with some good economy. Then we'll do a castle and some kongs to get map control and try to go forward. I don't know, but. Let's see. Remember, guys, that in the ladder, in the matchmaking... Oh, man, and this relic distribution? What is this? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Look at the nickname he put, man. 69 euros, man! Seriously, man. Thank you, to Twitter Macau's land. Scarlet, man! Okay. I will do... For that Scarlet, I will do push-ups after this game. 30 push-ups. I will try. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it, man. Really awesome. Thank you so much. No, 69. Yeah, he... I lost two con los lo huevos. 69. 69 push-ups. What the hell, man? Okay, let's see now. What is gonna be? One, two... Two, three. I really love that you don't understand when I rant in Spanish, man. Because I, I speak super bad in Spanish, man. Really bad, you know? <laughs> 69 push ups days. I cannot do that. It's too many, man. I'm in good shape, but that's too much. Anyway. Uh, well, I don't know if he's going to be able to see this one. He's missing some. And the Viper, but just look at this, guys. It's incredible or not. Boom is one village difference. And he did husbandry. He did one light cap, stable, monastery. So he has suspended a lot more. And the build order for Velesa is insane. His idle TC is even less than the Viper. He's going to make now a castle here. So he should try to get closer. Okay. The relics are super far. He's doing now a four-tone center. But what is his plan now? Heavy plow will borrow. He's doing heavy plow as well. And he has husbandry, so he's faster, right? Actually, it is. Husbandry, he can take the scout. That's amazing, actually. Yeah. He's really good because now he can take the relics easily. Relax it. And now... Oh! Oh, God. Oh! Well, he's missing that for one tile, and now he's gonna take this. All good, man. All good. Didn't see the other. Got it. He has one rally only. Two, three, four, and five. He's going a few conks now. Conks are great. So he's gonna try to make a second castle forward. I think Velesa has a very important advantage. I don't like this strategy. I don't know what you think, guys. This is so smooth. And now four tone centers. What the hell? He's gonna make another tone center outside. He's doing the loom. But he's taking the relics, man. I, I don't understand this strategy. Either full boom or full push. But he's not full boom and he's not full push. Right, guys? Well, let's see. Now he's in the conks. So, he has to be careful. Might not take all the relics at the end. Oh boy. He's doing sanity and gold mining upgrade. Archie the range. He's gonna go, what, skirmishers? Huh. <laughs> or cav archers. Maybe cav archers. No, but what are you doing? You have to. That's very nice. Heal, heal that one. Now he has also another monk there. Oh, nice micro. 
Oh, oh, the micro needs to be on point now. Oh, he converted, man. He converted, and now with the light cast, just try to, 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 to take it. He's gonna kill it? Nope. And now he's gonna convert the other. He's gonna take it? No, no, no. He's doing a great job here. Losing a monk here doesn't matter. Four relics in the bank. Did he see the one in the south? Yes, he did. And here, have to be careful. He's gonna take another one down. And this is bad for the snake. Look at now the lesser resources. Ay, ay, ay. The RT ranges is just getting ready for the hand cannoneers. The Kongs are going to be there, but guys, Pilesa economy, three villains more, four relics, and on the way to Imperial in a moment, this is getting closer and closer to the 3-1. Because the Viper is doing a very, very weird strategy, seriously. He will have a stone to make a castle and he will do it here. Or even the lead the house and make it in this area. I don't know. But he's up to Imperial, man. The last play arena is insanely good, man. Seriously. Oh, he's gonna go Cav Archers? He's not even hand cannoneers. Just Cav Archers with all the upgrades. <laughs> then those Cav Archers are sick. Fletching, you make Ballistic, Shipai, uh, Bomber Cannons. How you stop this? Really difficult. Really difficult. Doing a Barrack now. Because he need the, the, the stable. He need the husbandry, he need the bloodlines, he need all the upgrades. But all the timing, all the momentum, it's... Yeah, Cavarsis is not a good choice, Praise. He's a great one. He's the choice, man. He's the real choice, actually. Yeah, pretty sick. All right. Fletching, bloodlines, ballistic. He's gonna convert? No. He can take a relic in the south if he want, but he doesn't really need. He doesn't have to prioritize. Velesi also have a stone to make another castle, man. Um, he's playing really, really good. No, they have 20 extra HP. 20 extra HP. He's doing another castle. He's just playing safe. I like it. He doesn't have to take any risk, but the snake is up to Imperial too. He has good army and population. He's looking good, but the timing, the momentum one more time is for Velesse. We'll see. The only good thing here for the snake is that the map is huge. It's so big. Obviously, if he noticed that he's doing a castle there, he needs to go in that direction and try to kill there. He has Botkin, he has Ballistic and the Cab Archers with also a few monks behind. So do the job. He's gonna see that castle and then... And then chemistry right away. No, no, no. Well, hand card, siege workshop, and plus three. So those Cab Archers, sick. Really sick. He deleted now. He's doing a trap? No, because the castle is not up yet. And another problem, guys. How are you going to be able to compete in production? How are you going to have the numbers with the ca with the uh, conks against the cab archers? It's just not possible. He's doing now the loom. What the hell? Was he still doing all the without the loom? That confidence, man. He's playing against the viper. And now he's coming here, but... No, no, no. That was not a good move by him. But still, they don't have the accuracy, man. They don't really have the accuracy. Trebuchet, bomber cannons. He's now in Imperial. He's gonna do scale bar in armor, so he will do Hazards as well. Yeah, Hazards and Kongs. But complicated. The Cav Archers are missing upgrades, but this upgrades they got is sick. Shipai already, 20 HP more. Nice micro by the snake. But the bomber cannons are coming, but don't shoot with the, when the cab archers are there, man. He's gonna lose the siege, man. Sick. Disaster. Yeah, this... Uh, no? Okay, he's gonna... You're, oh! He patrol, man! He's gonna lose the siege, man! Ay, ay, ay! What are you doing, man? Okay, he's killing the caster with the cab archers. They are solid, but not as much. Yeah. Okay. He's nervous, man. He's nervous right now. Eat in the castle, just defend the siege, and then he has a huge advantage. But the score is very similar. This is now heavy cab archers. This will do what? Skirmishers? I don't know. He's missing armor too. He has to do them, and there's a relic that he could take it. But those cab archers now dominate the conks, and they are elite. But guys, supremacy. But he's doing another castle in this area. Supremacy is good, yeah? But what are you gonna do with them? You're gonna kill with villiers? 
Well, we will see. He can try to go on raid. The Kongs are very strong, but with some good micro, the Kongs will die still. They will die if you micro properly. They have the rage. They have the time, the momentum, and he's going to kill the villains or what? I don't think Velesa is really microing properly right now. It's being a little bit off. And that's why the Viper is taking the score lead. Because he's losing all the units. Well, not all the units, but quite a lot of units. And he's not needed. He's doing another castle now. And he has to wait. Chain Bard in Armor. He's wasting a lot. Look at the KD. He's still losing units all the time. But all the time, Vilese is ahead with more army. Yeah, man. It's crazy what economy Vilese has. Really. Now, plus four. And remember that Vilese can do Hazards right away if he wanted. Yeah, the castle is going to be down. It is down now, and it's so difficult with these units, as you can see. He's gonna go skirmishers now, fletching, or just for the castle. He's gonna go stables. He's at the limit, Viper. The Viper is at the limit. He's coming with Villiers trying to, to do what? Nothing. Stormine and Arbor doing the plus four. Well, this is actually plus four, yes. He doesn't have party and tactics, so he needs to be plus six. Blade Bard and Armor. What army is going to do? Light caps? Light caps will do nothing against those cap arches. And you can see right now, military numbers for Vilese 41. The Viper 14. Sending Vilese to try to kill, but he can't. Because right now, ladies and gentlemen, Vilese is in a total domination mode activated. This will be the 3-1. He has four relics. He could take the fifth relic, but he forgot. And now, taking this castle is going to go into his economy. Ay, 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 ay. Send the light caps, and he just need to make Khazars. The Viper still have 56 farmers, but the problem is he's losing all. He's really losing all. GG call Vilesse. It's super solid and only need one more. Oh boy. Oh really boy. Oh really boy. We're going to go to, to the normal one. I'm gonna show you all the statistics. Vilesa 61, Viper 92, but military 47, 52, 52, 47. Uh, economy, better economy for Vilesa. And that's the, the, the huge thing here, my goodness. All right, let's see. Let's see, guys. He need one more. Game five will happen now. And uh, let's see what it's going to be. Uh, guys, I need to, to make push-ups, I say, right? All right. Okay, let's go fast. Fast because they are going to start. How many? 30, right? Ah. All right. I will try. I will try. Let's see. It. Yes. Thank you for the subscription. All right, vamos. 30 push-ups. More donations and I do more. Okay, I wanted to do more, but I'm tired today, okay? 30 push-ups, let's go. <coughs> All right. Game number five. Ooh. Well, this matchup, this matchup is so interesting. I will try now to breathe a little bit because I'm tired, but Chinese versus Hindustanis. What do we prefer here, guys? China is really smooth, but... Can Hindustanis kill China? They can, man. They really can. Thank you, Comet. Also, Darbizer, 15 moons. Thank you, man. Mm -hmm. 
I think Hindustanis is... I think Hindustanis is domination, man. Seriously. Poof. Remember, guys, that the Viper has won all the previous NAC editions. All the previous NAC editions. So, let's see, man. Take the Rhino. To be honest, man, Belize just need to play normal here. Because I, I think Hindustan is dominate, man. Seriously. Like, if he go camels, what he can do, China? If he go camel skirms, nothing in the in Castle Age. And then you get bomber cannons. You get Khazars. You get gulams in case that is needed. I think Hindustanis is just a better choice. No? Yeah, Viper is, is not 100%. But let's be honest. In the previous game, and then he won Hans versus Franks. In the, pre in the previous game, is Arena, he just didn't play bad. It's like he picked a bad uh, choice. Uh... A run strategy, right? Both are up the same time. And Viper is two villains ahead. Exactly what you have to be with China. They are going up the same time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Because. Oh boy. The Arabia game is Nick looking very good. Yeah, yeah. We, we still need to start to give the credit. The credit to Vilese. He did a good draft and he's playing really well. But the series is not over till you get a four here, okay? And I don't see yet the four. Let's wait because the snake is the goat. And, oh boy. Yeah, 42 HP, 39. All right, but just go explore, man. Yeah, just go oh, explore your opponent, yeah. man. Press one, thank you so much for the five gift, man. Let's go, baby. Both are at exactly the same time, so just go away. And now he's gonna do what? It's stable. And the Viper is stable as well, both with the same. This almost no kill, so he's gonna try to explore. 60 Chukunus and Viper is fine, but Gulam's killed Chukunus. And remember one thing, Velese in the first day of the tournament won 3-0. He's housed the Viper now. So, well, he cannot do a scout. It's fine, but he did 3-0 in the first day to the, to the Viper. So, and Viper wasn't sick in the first day. So we need to give credit to, to Vilese that he's playing really well. And uh, let's be honest, Vilese uh, gameplay, I would say that is similar to the Snake. Like he's not a player that is going forward, he's a methodic player, a meta player. So, well, let's see. Scouts coming for both players. He has to be careful, he has the full HP here. And now he's gonna chase this one, he's coming with another... Ooh. The micro, man. The micro. This is the, the what matters here a lot. Uh, you can't really lose. And now he's not doing his spears, uh, Belize. Interesting. And surprising as well. Why he's not doing his spears? I don't understand. Uh oh. Awful control with the army from Belize now. Why? Because he is nervous. Why you got so much damage in the four scouts? Because you are nervous now. Yeah. I mean, if Viper control here as well, huh? he's going back now. Ay, ay, ay. Why he's not doing... Now he's doing the spears. All right. And here you should be wall. Gate, palisade those, and all good. Viper is open. 
you know what? What is also truth is that if you are feeling sick and you don't feel great, you feel like, I want to finish and go home. Like, yeah, it's very difficult to focus. That's, that's the truth. You know? That is very difficult to focus. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nah. It's, it's losing two units. And now, to one. Gonna take another here. Oh, boy. Gonna lose another three one. And another one or not. That's not great, man. That's not great. Oh, the poet. Thank you for the two moons, poet. Poetic. Blasmith. So, ooh. But he's going arches already. Well, if he's not finding the RT range, then Vilesi will die. Because he's not only going to scout and a spear. At least that he's doing a tower on the goal. Okay. Yeah, he need to find the, the RT range. And then if he find the RT range, you just make the tower on the... Oh, wow. Now good micro. He see now the RT range. So, there's two options now for Vilesi. RT range as well. Okay, that's it. No more options. Shit. What he's doing so fast? I wanted to talk to talk about the other option, man. Well, the other option, it was clear. You just go only a scout and make a tower. But with a tower, you can defend all you can. Berries and gold are too far. Really too far. Remember, guys, that tomorrow we have two semifinals. Best of nine. Best of nine? I think it's a lot. It's too much, probably. But, well, we will do it, you know? I mean, it's too many games. Potentially, 18 games, when with the five series best of five, it was 25 games, potentially. So, oh boy. Best of nine tomorrow. And it will be, if I'm not mistaken, 13 GMT. Okay, guys? Tell me now, if you know. Yeah. No, for a final, it's fine. But just the final, because now it's feel like, okay, if the semifinals are best of nine, it means that it's the same important that the final. It's supposed that the final is more important than the, than the semis, right? But still, he's coming with arches. He has no skirmishes. He's going to be in big problems now. Yeah, Viper has more army. Going aggressive. I like it. Well, now, the skirmishes, oh, he's not having fletching. It's starting to have problems here. Okay, well, but the spears are in the good position. Nah, he's okay, man. You see little army, he's fine. The scouts are not gonna get any damage here. The scouts are also coming now. And he's not gonna lose anything. The scouts are coming too. And with the spears. And the skirmisher is gonna clean everything. But Vilesi has... Why he has seven villains behind? Oh, because he did will Barber. okay. Yeah, and the scout bye-bye, and the spear bye-bye. KD, very similar, and now the Archer bye-bye too. Resources, very similar for both. Doing Farmers, and now about to go up both players. Double Archer range here. He's gonna do more skirms. He's doing Arches now, but China economy, sick. Gonna make the mill, and uh, nah. It's gonna be 30 seconds difference. He's gonna click up, and now no more villages and going up too. Yeah, there's almost no no difference with the echo. Oh, he didn't see this. He's up to doing more skirmishes. Now he's gonna make a second stable, probably. As I told you, camels and skirmishes as well. That's what you need. He's exploring. He saw the second archery range. No. That's, that's unfortunate. Now he will double RT range, so more skirmishes. And he's going around. I like that a lot. Yeah, he should put some RT range, uh, some skirmishes there. In the north, he's doing the armor and he's doing bloodlines, but that's the thing. You go now cavalry and archers and, and Hindustan is just dominate, man. Just dominate, but he's waiting there. Five archers. The skirmishers? Why he's sending the skirmishers forward? Doesn't make any sense. That's that's doesn't make any sense. If you send the skirmishers forward, and then your opponent is just gonna go also one knight, 
You, you do lose them all. Oh boy. That he has a tone watch? No. No tone watch. And the archers are waiting there. Bloodlines. Skirmishes are a little bit far from the position. And he's coming back now. Okay. Crossbow and Botkin arrow. Bloodlines. Skirmishers. He's gonna do at least skirmishes and Botkin. He should do it. And look at all the upgrades. Heavy Plow and Bozo. At least skirmishes and Botkin. He shouldn't lose anything at all. And now... Oh boy. It's not wall. He's waiting here. And he's gonna go with the scout. Tone watch is gonna help a lot. He's doing the perfect tone center. The skirmishes are going to be in time. He need to wall. Now he's gonna see it or not. Look at the arches. Ooh. That was bad. Okay. Skirmishes all over. It's completely, completely fine. He has his skirmishes and camels. Exactly the army we were talking. And even the plus two armor. Oh boy, oh boy. Extra tone center as well. He can't really touch him. He has the knight, so he need to go back. The camels are there. He's gonna kill those. And with the camels, you eat the knights. They attack faster, so imagine this. All right. We'll see, guys. The micro is so important. Viper has more village than his opponent, but he has Will Barrow, so it's fine. Heavy Plow and Bozo. But this is Kimmer says plus two. They just don't die. They don't die. You know, Ballistic or just another TC? I think Boom is better now. Because the map is so big. Population Viper is still ahead. But it's gonna be getting closer and closer. Industan is so dangerous. Really, really dangerous. Camels are coming. You have to be careful. And let's see what is he planning to do here. With camels, it's gonna be fine, but yeah, those knights got no upgrades, man. They got no upgrades. The camels got only bloodlines. Well, bloodlines as well, okay. But he's losing arches, man. He's losing a lot of arches. Uh oh. Not that many, actually. Yeah, he's doing a good job here. He's doing the monastery. Viper is doing a really good job in this game. A really good job. Let's see now. The camels are there. Skirmishes plus two are holding, but maybe need ballistic. Villiers is getting closer. He's only five villiers different because he did Will Barrow. Okay. No, no, no. He has to control. Few monks. He's housed. Ouch. Being housed in this stage of the game. And. Four tone center is going to be. He's needed that many TCs. I don't know. Piper knows better. His economy, I mean, is sick. China economy is sick. But he's still spamming. Skirmishes and five camels. Monks to convert or to get relics. To do everything, right? To do both. He lost a scout here forward and he's doing some walls and he's starting to mine stone. So interesting game, guys. But. This game, I don't know if you agree, guys. It remind me a little bit to the Mongols Byzantines, where Viper was a little bit ahead with the economy, but then the army started to be stronger and stronger, little by little, for Vilese, which is what I think is happening right now. 20 arches sounds great to me, but the skirmishes plus two plus two is just able to stop everything, everything. And imagine if he's doing ballistic, still doing camels. Knights are coming through the other side, but he can see easily everything. He has few monks at home? No. He's actually going forward. Then probably he needs to make ballistic. Uh oh. Monk? Ah, oh, come on. The monk is there, man. He's gonna take it? He should, he should take it. Ballistic on the way. And he will kill. Got it. University 2 and he's coming with the knights. Let's see his reaction. That he has army, he has monks. And he see the knights. Let's see the multitasking. Let's see the multitasking. The knights are coming. He's so immediately. Look at the monk. On the other side, he's got... Ooh, he's... Now he's going to convert. He will or he will try. A little bit chicken. So many crossbows. Ballistic's gonna do the job. He need to spam more skirmishes for sure. Well... 22, 17, he's fine right now. And know that he's in the north. Does give you a lot of map control, but Viper has still more, a lot more villages, you know? But with Hindustanis, you might be fine. And if he's doing the 4 TC, no! 
Yeah, you have to now control everything like crazy. And he's throwing a lot. Look. What is he looking for? How you throw a camel and monk like this? I don't understand. Hellbard in armor. Now he's going to make the TC. I mean, in this situation, you really hit, have to be so smooth. What happened here? Oh, he's ready, man. He's ready now with some. Ballistic and hand card already. Oh, wow. The cameras are coming. And now he's coming here with a relic and coming with the army. But Hindustan is, even if he's behind in Belize, he's dangerous, man. Those skirmishes will take now the archers. And he's here with the camels. He's gonna kill Belize. He will try. Yeah, those camels will eat the knights. If he play properly, of course. He has to be careful. Yes. The camels can't leave the skirmishes alone. Hand card is stoned for the viper to make a castle. He's gonna make the castle at home. I believe so. The camels are there, and now you can't really fight against these units. I think so. Uh oh. He's gonna kill the monk. Got it. And now this battle, it is better for. Her. Yeah, he's killing the archers, and now he's killing the knights as well. Well, this trade is a good one for Hindustanis. Of course. All the knights to the damn hell. And he's not even bringing all the units. If he's bringing now. All the units like he's doing right now. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's 22 villains behind. 22 villains behind, but he take the, the monk. And now... I only think that Belese is fine even if he's behind in villains like this. Yeah, he has 4 tone sentry. He's still booming. And Viper is just... Not over booming, just doing crazy economy. But uh, the list is fine. Uh oh, those monks, you cannot lose the monk. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, he's going back now with all that army. He has invested a lot with the monks, with the mangonels. And he's still trying to raid. But Viper has an amazing population 144, scary. But Hindustan's economy with 40 farmers. 40 farmers, just go back a little bit. Okay. He's going to convert the knight. He will try. And he can do a castle. Where he should do the castle? Here or in this area? Pfft, I don't know. He took it and now need to go back. The Viper has a lot of army. Velesta is having good army too, but not as much. Uh oh, what are you doing? What? He's coming, but this is a castle. He's coming with more camels. Hindustan's economy is, is really still deadly, man. Look at this. Resources for both. He has to go back. And where is he gonna make a castle? Viper has a stone to make another. More archery ranges. He's about to go up to Imperial. And he's gonna go camels and skirmishes, as I told you. Need to go back. Gonna take another. He need to convert? No. Uh, to heal, but he can't. Resources about to go up to Imperial. Both players, the same. He's going around with the camels, but he's walling everything. Good. Really good. Viper on the way to Imperial. Velese on the way to Imperial, the same time, with Marvel is the Viper, but this army is sick, remember, it's really sick. Okay, he's gonna s still do it more and more, and where he's gonna make now the castle, Velese? I'm wondering, guys, I'm really wondering. Chain bar and armor, those camels can... You, I mean, he has to control a little bit better that he's doing... Oh. But now he's gonna raid? Gonna kill a few villains? Well, that can help. Why well, he's not killing here? I don't know. Now he is. Doing a castle here. But Velese is gonna do a castle? I will do it here, man. If you see it. Oh, man. The damn exploration. That castle there controlling the gold and the stone would be sick. So now he's gonna make it on the left. In this area, so he's going to control this, this zone. Castle here. Or maybe in this this spot. We'll see. Still ready some? Echo KD. One villager, man. Yeah. What are you doing? Are you going more forward? Okay. More stables. And where's the castle now? 1,000 stone. Oh, but he has no defense, man. He's on the left and he's coming through the right side. Ay, ay, ay. Well... All the knights and archers are coming, and you are completely on the other side. Crazy. Really crazy. There you go. He's going to convert something or not? Couple of knights. You need to go back. Nah. Don't want to take any risk. And now, doing an outpost. He's going to send the camels back. 
The resources for both players are hilarious. He's finally doing a caster here. And another on the left. That's gonna be solid. Good caster here. Good caster here for sure. He wants to compete in both spots. He has skirmishes here. Imperialists for both. Arbalists and Cavaliers. Camels and Skirmishers. Ay, ay, ay. Camels as well. Oh boy. Plus three and chemistry. And... Here we are with camels and skirmishes, both with mobility and both with the static civilist uh, units. This is going now with the knights and crossbows. He need to make the castle. If he's not doing it, it's gonna be terrible. The castle is not up. Ay, 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 ay. Well, he's coming. You have to wall a little bit. He's coming with more villages. He's gonna be in the right time. No, he's gonna be an out castle. Dow, dow, dow. He's always, he's always in our dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, this can cause the game to be less in a great game in theory that could be. It's gonna be a disaster. Because the castle is not happening and Doubt is giving the energy and the Doubt castle to his teammate, the Viper. He has 45 army. He still has a lot of army, but the army is now out of position completely. Completely out of position. He's doing another TC. All right. His population is strong. 170 population. But the Viper, 200. And now heavy camels. Chemistry. He has a lot of... Ooh. They still have a lot of population here in the RT ranges. Use it, and you will kill all this army. Viper is gonna lose all his army, man. Viper is gonna lose all his army if he's using those skirmishes. Is he gonna use it? Yes, he will. And now all the army for the snake is gonna be gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's gonna repair this one. He has to, to kill and will kill everything. There's a cavalier here doing the job, but... Huh? He has heavy camels and cavaliers. That helps a lot. That really helps a lot. And the Viper is still doing a great job. The scores say that he's super ahead in the game. And he's playing this one really great. Well, Velese, well, you should have a castle, man. In a map like this, that is so big, you really need to do it. And Viper is just dominating this game big time. Really, really big time. With China, guys, in Dustanis. So, guys, Probably the 3-2 will happen. Oh, he's gonna make the castle? He will. Well, he's still with more army, man. And this map is... You can you can recover, you know, in this map. Absolutely you can. Okay. It's true that he lost this castle here. GG call. He didn't try more. And he's not a warrior, man. He's not like Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo here uh, or ACCM will stay in this game forever, you know? And honestly, Bilesi has lost here, uh, in my opinion, huge opportunity. Really big opportunity to dominate. Why? Well, because Hindustanis is sick. 89, 74, but you're going to see what happened here. Bilesi more army than his opponent. But the Viper, 9,000 resources more. 9,000 resources more. A bit Titanic, no. That was Titanic, for sure. It was Titanic, you know? Because that castle, as you said, he should be up a long time ago. He has the stone and everything. So, yeah. All right. All right. This is the snake. And now, what are the maps remaining, guys? What are the maps remaining? Hmm, I don't remember. The maps remaining are... Outcrap and Fortified Clearing. Ooh. I think those maps benefit Viper, man. If Viper play properly, good maps, man. You know? And civilizations, what they have? Civilizations, well, I don't understand those icons, man. But let me just check the, the, the draft. I mean, I didn't have update because I didn't, uh, I didn't update because I'm not checking. Two, three, and they have played what? Arena for Velese, Enclosed for, for Viper, Arabia for Velese, Free Lake for Velese, and uh, this one for Viper. So, 45 cleaning out crap, and now the civilizations. Man, I forgot the saves, man. What the hell? The civilizations left. Oh, Viper has the Aztecs, right? Viper has the Aztecs, I think. Okay.
I think so. Hindustan is lost. Turks won. France lost. Byzantines won. And Khmer won. So now it's updated the, the whole draft. The Viper has the Aztecs, which is always dangerous. But Aztecs for, for fortified clearly, it might be. And now Burmese. Aztecs versus Burmese. Yeah, and Tatars. And then, yeah, man. But, but he can do, guys, he can do, uh, oh, man. He can make Berbers versus Tatars, man. He has Berbers, man. If he's doing Tatars and you have Berbers, pfft. yeah, but he has Berbers, man. But now the next game is fortified clearing. For that, we need to go to game number to game number seven. That's the thing, you know, game number seven. So fortified clearing. Let's see, because we have what? What civilization, guys? Aztecs and Burmese. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. And what do we prefer here? Finally, the Aztecs, amigos. Oh, boy. Burmese. Burmese for Velese, the Viper with the Aztecs. Clone completely? I honestly think... No, I don't agree with you guys. I think for uh, for uh, for this map that you can expand, I prefer Burmese. Or not. Well, how gonna kill Champions Aztecs? He can go Jowers, and champions from the Aztecs are better. He gets it all. Eagles don't do anything, man. He has nine relics, and Burmese can see all the relics here. Let's see what strategy they are going to pick. Remember that Velesia played these maps a lot, but Viper, in these maps, he shouldn't have a problem. So, let's see, guys. Let me just go for the saves. Burmese or Aztecs? That's the civilization, guys. This is starting to wall a little bit because he doesn't want to get attacked by the snake in early game. Burmese get double with for free. Well, all the wood upgrades for free. Okay. Depend a lot on the players, man. What I like a lot is the cheap, the cheap monk techs. And look, let's say know where all the relics are. This bonus in this map, guys, is actually great. I don't know what you think. It's actually great, seriously. Palisade gate. And the snake is not gonna go up fast here. It's gonna go fast castle, a hundred percent. With 3-2 behind, oh boy. Okay. Well, the Les has the, the match point, guys. And all the pressure. Okay, got it. He's gonna be able to wall now all the map or not? Yeah, he's walling too. Viper. They're gonna play safe, both. For sure. Both are walling, just in case. And now the idea is, what are they going to do in castle? Are they gonna go stable? And light cuts for Velese? And what, what the Viper will do? I don't know, man. I don't know. There is no loop. And the eagle is coming. But he see the walls and he decide let's go and explore all the map. Yeah. All the relics on the right side. And Viper is coming through the left. Not good luck. Alright. I mean I honestly don't know oh this is shit. Sorry for telling this, but this is bad. Yeah. Okay. 
I honestly don't know what strategy they're going to pick because we have never seen the Aztecs in, in this map in a long time. You know? Yeah. Viper Echo. As the Seco is good, as we all know. Still, Burmese will get it without breaks. That's something. And cheaper tech, so it's also that you are saving gold. So, yeah, it is good. But let's say a little bit faster than his opponent. God, what is the strategy he's going to do? Really, I'm really curious. Market and Blast with both, both players, probably. No! I like it. I like it. Barak want to have map control. And then market and stable, probably. In 10 seconds, you will have double attacks for free. Okay. He's gonna do the market, I believe. Or, Mla or Blasmith. I don't know. For now, he's not doing any building. Stable and Viper Market and Blasmith and Blasmith. All right, that's a need the economy to balance the economy. Feels good. He doesn't have the food to go up. Yeah. He's doing the loom. And that's only have one man in. He's going to go aggro? Oh, yeah, yeah. He's on the way to Castle Age. Click up, man. What the hell? He's nervous, man. I, I, I can feel it, man. I can feel it. That's fine. He just put now the village on the wood. It's okay. Team shot. You, you, you just watch, man. You don't know what is a disaster in AoE anymore. The last time you played AoE, it was still on Bubbly. So relax. Okay. Let's see. Doing scouts. He has a barrack and he's gonna do eagle scouts. Alright. He will need light caps. He did the loom. And doing the loom is. Is he going to go forward? I would love to see forward, but I don't think it will. Even more <laughs> with 3 2 in the score, right? Yeah. Complicated, amigo. Doing more and more farms. And now he has spears. Ay, 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 spears, amigo. So he will need spears as well? Or what? Or just light caps is an oath? Ah, oh, man. Problem? In 30 seconds, he's gonna be in Castle. He's gonna need more scout, but you don't have a market now to balance. Monastery. And the Viper playing just standard. Same as Vilese. He's gonna do the light caps. He will, or he should, double monastery. I like it. I really like it. And I expected that. He's gonna make the light caps? Yes, he will. The scout is stronger now than the scout. The, the eagle is stronger now than the scout. You have to be careful, man. It's choirs. All right. Extra tone center. Bozo for free is sick. It is really sick, to be honest. So both are doing the same right now. Literally the same. Sanity. Those monks are going to be sick. He has only one monk. So he's going to take now the first relic. The light cut is coming. So just to go. Just to go already. 
If he convert, oh my god. Now he kill it. That's good. Because he kill a monk before sanity. It is good. And he's gonna have double monastery, so he's gonna have monks much faster. Sanity is 50% cheaper. He's gonna send that one at the back just to heal it. Yep. And he's gonna go again to see if he's coming with the monks. So the control here has to be real. And now? And now he's going to convert? He's going to convert? Ooh, if he converts something. But he didn't. The anti-conversion works. Sanity as well. And... Oh, boy. Oh, my God. It's not micron. You can feel how Velesa is not playing as clean. I mean, he's playing good. But... Ah! It's not controlling the units that's good. Why he's, for example, not deleting the Palisade and go for the TC? He's going all over around and he's taking a lot more time to, to dominate. And now, he's, just take the relics and... Okay, he's gonna take that one. He knows that he, he took a relic. Convert the spear. He's coming with more monks. He's going to convert. He convert an eagle. He's going to convert another. If he's not converting another, it's a disaster. Oh, he did. This is good. This is really good, actually. Two eagles and two light guys now. And now he killed the spear. That's really good. Taking out the relics. Okay. And now... Ooh. I'm almost going to kill that one. More monks. Third on center. Village number, almost the same. Population, more. Now four. Uh, he's taken. But he need to go. This is good. He's distracting. He's really distracting. He's going to convert another. Maybe not. But... Oh, he converted. The hell? That was bad, but... Ooh, ooh. Starting to be a disaster for Velese. It's starting to be a disaster. He's going to convert also. Because this is, this is healing now. It's starting to be a disaster. And the Viper is starting to control everything. Really great. Converting and healing. Ay, ay, ay. The clown. The clown, the clown, the clown. Losing another one. Shit, I put the Titanic and now he convert back. Ay, ay, ay. Oh! He see Villiers, man. He see the Villiers, man. He see... Viper is sending Villiers. Gather point from the Viper here. Awesome play by the Viper, man. Whoa! He sent one, two, three, four Villiers through all the map. Are you for real? Okay. And he's out. He want to. He doesn't want to play. Yeah, yeah. And another one. Oh my God. Well. Yeah. And another one. And this one. He's going to convert or not? Oh my goodness. What's happening here? Donation. Thank you, man. That's pretty sick. Population is similar. He's gonna have a castle soon. He has to be careful to, to delete if he's needed. He's doing now Viper quite a lot of farming, but let's say now better boom. So, the one who is going up to Imperial faster is gonna be really important. And now, another villager. What the hell? He might be thinking, what's going on? Oh, Vilesse? 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 Oh, okay. Just passing. No problem. He wants to go for the relic first. Another tone sent it. 4 TC. But again, delete the palisade, man. Oh my god, delete the palisade. Nah. He. La I don't know. Well, I will shut up. The population is almost the same, but. He's delete the palisade and make the tone center. He's just going around. Both are doing mistakes. That's pretty obvious. But now, guys, the monks going to convert with the Athona, man. He will have a castle. Who is going up to Imperial now is crucial, you know. Vilesi has, with double monastery, one relic, guys. He's converting the monks now. Wow. Wow. Oh, boy. 
Oh, really, boy. Converting everything. The relic is converted. Oh, he take the relic, man. Now he can take the relic. He convert another monk. The autonomy is just super strong. Really, really good. He's going to convert. He converted. And now he's converting everything. Population for Velase. What happened? He wake up. Terminator wake up. And now, 19 army, 10 army. Check his resources. And ladies and gentlemen, Vilesse can come now. Drop a castle in his face. He changed completely the game for the Athonement, man. What the hell was that? He converted everything. The damn monks with the total domination. And this is 4 tone cent. He's going to take the relic. And I don't know. But the Imperial is so important. He's still doing a lot of Vilesse. And he should just stop doing Vilesse and go up to Imperial. Because it's still dangerous, man. It's still dangerous because the Aztec's going up to Imperial. Oof. And the snake. All right. It's going to kill this. What is happening? Viper is just sending army without any control. He's going to make the castle here. The Viper is still with the score lead. But this castle is just so important. It's going to do eagles. And he's going to come from behind. He has light cast, man. He has wheelbarrow. Hand card the Viper. Hand card the Viper that's sick economy. But well, they are still going. And it's 3 TC is gonna make the castle. I insist. The Imperial Age is just crucial. Now two relics for Velese. Five relics for the Viper. Five Aztec relics. Doing the market now. And Velese need to go up to Imperial faster. If not, his Fook. He's going to convert. Uh oh. Is many monks. Is many monks. And now you can you can heal. Uh oh. Is many monks. And the the imperial age man, ladies and gentlemen, Vilesse is on the way to imperial faster than the snake. Yes, he is. There you go. And now with all the monks, infantry or arambais, I don't know what he's going to do. But he's up to Imperial faster. Population is the same. Literally the same. But the Eagles... Mobility, man. And where's the light cat? Okay. He need to come with those. Light caps? Nope. Doing another barrack to do supplies and he's going infantry. All right. He's going infantry. He's going to lose that villain, maybe. Yeah, I don't know how he's losing that, but still, supplies, Imperial Age. Both doing the the, uh, the plus one. 93 90 bullets. Uh, missing heavy flow. The Eagles are annoying, but the light guys are there. They're going to face in the middle. And guys, the let's say four relics, the Viper five, but five relics, it's better. You know, five relics is much better for the Aztecs. Like, much better. Population is really the same. Viper is behind 30 seconds only to Imp. And he can see the castle here? No. He actually cannot see it. He's going champion. He's going to make a castle on the left. And he needs to deal with those eagles, which are annoying. But now, guys, the eagles are coming. And he doesn't have anything to counter yet. Pelese need to react faster. That he's doing. Okay. And a second castle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Need to see it, man. The problem is that he doesn't see anything now. Need to make the traps. And he's not doing. He got monks only. And no army, man. No army at all. Well, he's killing those eagles. And still population is very similar. He's gonna finish this castle. He will. And where's the traps? No trap. Which the, the conversions, man. The conversions. Aye, aye, aye. Look, he's doing all the monks upgrades. But where's the traps? No traps. That's really bad. Oh, that was a pet art. Because he wants to raid. Now he see the castle. Need to go back. And need to re, re wall Because if he's getting raided, the eagles are so dangerous. You need to re wall Obviously, the Burmese infantry eat the eagles. So right now, if he's doing the, the infantry, the eagles shouldn't be a real problem. But population is still benefit the snake. 
and the mobility as well. Finally, he deleted the Palisade to go for the Eagles. Aramis eat the Eagles as well. Remember, Aramis eat the Eagles as well. And now traps. Very important to have two castles. You can make bomber cannons. Remember, Viper is doing arches as well. Okay. And he's coming with more infantry, but he's at the limit for now. He's gonna send all the army here to defend or not? You need to repair the castle. Because if you lose that castle and he has three bullets inside, it's gonna be a big problem. So let's see. Viper is selling resources. Everyone is at the limit here. And now, where's the second trap? Where's more villages to repair? I don't know. He needs more villages to repair, but he's not doing. Elite Eagle Warrior, while the Lesse is still having what? 200 swords? No, low swords, man. What the hell? Very, very slow with the army. And guys, this is going for game number seven. Outcrop will be the map that they will decide if the Viper continue defending his throne or... Or be less than doing the surprise. Oh my. Okay, let's see. Three trebuchet. Gonna take the castle or not? Finally, 200 swords. To be honest, his population is still strong, so need to repair now those and make houses. He need to wall. The Eagles are very strong. He can raid as well, and he's not walling. So, ooh, 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 some Eagles to raid. Yeah, the castle is down, but now this army is gonna kill or not? Few Eagles, no army at all. He's raiding here. And uh, Vilesen don't have army, guys. He does have army right now. It's difficult because they don't have mobility. 2,000 score difference. And Population Viper is still ahead with more and more army and raiding. Raiding because he does have defense to this. And he's killing all the villages with the Eagles. That's the problem. GG call the Viper force the gain number seven. I really think... Honestly, that Viper is playing better, but the last two games, you have noticed, at least I do, that Vilese is feeling it. It's really feeling it. At least is what I think. I don't know if you, what you think, you know? Yeah, they seem to be really, really impartial, right? <laughs> okay. Now we see 6374, statistics, military, 7640, with 36 more for, for the, the Viper economy, 8,000 resources more. 8,000 resources more. But let's be honest. If in the next game, if the next game, Vilesse play properly, there should never be a way where Tatars beat Berbers, in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, if it's Tatars, Berbers, poof, you know? Let's see. Let's see what it's going to be. Maybe it's Dravidians. That's truth. But what Dravidians has in a map that like outcrop that is require a lot of mobility, right? I don't know. Tatars Berbers, guys. Tatars the Viper. Vilese with Berbers. Well, Berbers is a counter civilization for Tatars. So, what Vilese need here is wall, go imp, and total domination. You know? Yeah, that's what he need. Go in and total domination. You know? Yeah, that's what he need. You know? Let's see what it's going to be. Okay, let's see. Three villages on wood. I mean, Berbers is much better. Like, much better. So, is the biggest opportunity here for Velese. How the Viper is going to be able to, to counter this? to try to go very aggressive, I believe. 
Let's see if he's gonna make if he's if he's gonna make it. So for now, he probably shouldn't worry a lot about wall. Just go quick up, and that's it. For now, Vilesi is not walling, and uh, he's getting closer to go up. And we have seen in the games that the games that the maps are being open that the Viper is ahead. It is ahead. So let's see. Now, Berbers by far. I mean, you can check their all the overview for the civilizations. The thing is, uh, against Camel Archers, if they can get there, what Tatars have, guys? What Tatars have against Camel Archers? Can you tell me? Because I don't know. I really don't know. Plus two range traps in a map like this with traps you can uh, you can move very fast. You're right. He's starting to wall. Okay. Call on the left, call in front. Remember, guys, that the Viper was 3-1 behind. He's 3-3 and want to dominate. Both are going up. Now he's starting to wall. This is exactly what he has to do. But Viper is not walling anything. He's going to go archers. He's going to go militias. He's going to go scouts. What is he going to do? We're about to find out and see if the Viper can steal in the tournament. He's having a hard tournament for sure. And let's see what is going to happen. Militias. He's doing malicious right now. So, the lesson need to wall. Or problems will happen for sure. Yeah, they have the same time up. So, this scout shouldn't do anything. It's exactly the same time up. Why he's not attacking? I have no clue. Oh, he attacked now more. And now he's Fook. He's doing the barrack. But he's still not walling. Completely. So, the lesson will do. He has militias, three militias. Oh my god. If he's not walling, he's gonna die. Ay, ay, ay. He's coming, the Viper. Unbelievable, man. You only need to wall. He's doing now the house. But if he's not finding, and he didn't find, he didn't find the. Yeah. A spear, man. He thinks he's coming to scout. Now he's in the mining camp. Good luck now. It's stable. And it's gonna be problems. It's stable without walls. And he's coming. Men at arms. He's gonna try to wall. He's gonna see now those militias. He can. And you better wall. He see the militias coming. He's starting to palisade. But the spear is there. And he's blocking. He's blocking. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ooh. He walled in the last second. Seriously? But now he's still walled. He's still open in the... In the he's still open at the back. And he's not even going. Titanic, Mr. Vilese. Well, the scouts are going to be the, do, do the job. The only good thing is that the Berber villains are fast. So, he can't run away. All right. So, there is something. He's going to make a Palisade Gate here, maybe. There's another pallet and now a gate. A gate, I think he's going to the TC. Disaster already. Like, do you remember the previous series? Mr. Yo, full wall with Burgundians. Why Vilese is not wall in game number seven? That's a good question. Now he has the RT range. And I'm telling you something. The men at arms might not kill. But the archers might. He needs to delete the palisade and wall right now. Or he's in a big problem. If the archers go in, it's a big deal. Now those four scouts will do the job. Yeah, he will claim. But I insist. The good thing. Ooh. Viper going aggressive. Blast with. And archer range. So that means fletching. Uh-oh. And he will clip. Oh, the spear is here. No, no, no. Do this in. That's cleaning the men at arms. Guys. He cleaned the men at arms, but uh, he lost one scout and two are dead. So basically, 
His army is total trash. And he need to wall now there. He's gonna wall, but he hold it. Problem? Arch is coming with Fletching. Arch is coming with Fletching. And his goal? Eh, it's okay here. Now, he's gonna wall or not. As you can see, Vilese is super nervous. You can feel it. Look at this Vilir, man. It's not reacting fast. You can feel the pressure, guys. You can feel the pressure. And now he knows that he has the better save. So, he knows that he was 3-1 ahead. So, don't you think that now he's not like, okay, if I win, it's great. If not, I did okay. No. Now, he's just feeling that pressure. And he's gonna wall. Is he still didn't wall? Oh, boy. Okay. He's going around. And this is good because now... He thinks that he's open, so he's not gonna do any damage. Problem? The wood is exposed here. And he's still doing economy, Vilese. Not going for an archery range. Still taking more coves, and I think he's gonna do tone but he see the arches here. Another lumber cap here. He's gonna make the blast bit. All right. And no reaction by Vilese. It's low reaction by Vilese. Oh, man! I'm telling you, man! I'm telling you, Vilese is just... He can't handle this, man! He can't handle this! He's disaster, man! And he's playing much, much, much worse the last two games. I'm sorry, but he's playing much worse the last games. Is the true, man? Is the real true? Because he's nervous, man, and you ca call him Iceman? Nah! He's not Iceman, he's human, like everyone. And he's doing a disaster. A disaster game. And right now, the Viper, going with the Arches, is full open. He has no army. He has better economy even. And if he kills Fuvel is more, well, he has killed already three. And uh, look at the resources. Ay, ay, ay. He has two scouts. He's losing the scouts as well. And he can't do now any damage. And his opponent is fully walled. This is the way you win with Tatars versus Berbers, right? You don't wall, you play open, and you are in a problem. But Vilese managed to somehow go up to Castellage. Okay, he's gonna re-wall? He did. But another Vilir down, probably. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, but if he's going here in, you need to make a market or something. Why he's not doing a market? Just a market, man. Thank you. He's doing the market now. Two scouts. Now he's up 30 seconds behind. The game keeps going. But... Woof. Vilese is at the limit. I don't know if you agree. At the limit. Four villains behind. He's faster up. But it's still another... Another... Uh, uh, hole here. My goodness. Doing another stable. He need to make the palisade. And remember that these arches need to be cleaned quick because they get thumbbrain. Thumbbrain, amigos. Ay, ay, ay. Anyway, two stables. Knights are cheaper, but the economy for the snake, solid. I mean, the game is not over, but obviously, Viper is ahead. Viper is ahead. He does have, of course, collar. Okay. And now he will do what? Cav archers? He has only one archer range. Okay. He should kill. Ground attack? Stun ground? Oh my god. What is this, man? He could kill an archer, but... What? Kill it, man? Wow. Disaster. Gonna make a knight now. He's doing a couple of knights. The good thing is that they are cheaper. He cannot make any extra TC. Viper! He will have resources to make another extra TC. Okay. Well, you have to control everything, you know? And the good thing here is that he's going full knights. He's still without any knight here. And he's gonna come with a lot of arches, man. He's gonna clean this. He has to clean. But he's coming close to this area. And now we'll have a lot more arches. So he can't clean this. And the biggest issue is that he's doing now siege or shop. So what happened with that? That Viper economy is gonna be much better. And now a monastery. 
So he's defending. His Forville is behind. Obviously, the Knights... He should go on... He should go on... Nah, he can attack forward now. He will try it, but... Oh my god, another villager down. It's sad, man. It's sad. It's open also. Nah, it's... It's just... Uh, it's a disaster for Vilesse. He's playing this. The most anticlimactic situation, you know? The most anticlimactic situation ever, you know? The most anticlimactic situation ever after a crazy 3 1 in favor and then resign like this. My goodness, seriously, man. You have to try at least, you know. I know that he's behind, but he's four villains ahead, man. Four villains ahead. We see the reaction, obviously. The happiness from his girlfriend. Let's put uh, here the statistics and see that he was 37 villains, 41. He got more army, but he was doing siege. And well, uh, you cannot call him 7 6 skill, economy, 300 resources difference, you know? And I have to tell you that you can't, in my opinion, I don't know, man. Yeah, well. We don't see them anymore. I will see if there's going to be an interview. But for me, you cannot call, you cannot call uh, Vilese Iceman anymore. He was just freezing, you know? Really freezing. In my opinion, he was just, you know what I mean? He's human and he was so nervous. He was so, so nervous. I don't think the, the word is tilt. The word is that he was he couldn't handle the pressure he couldn't handle the pressure it was a big moment and honestly uh well it is what it is you know we're gonna see the interview now i believe and uh yeah we got a, an interview coming but he's so anticlimactic in my opinion screen got really shiny for a small second there sorry um <laughs> Yeah, six, 62,000 indeed uh, at the start, but someone donated, said, I will donate $5,000 once we break 70, and people went wild. So we are now at $76,000 there in donations already, 26,000 from the community, and we still have two days left to go. And especially you would love to have still two days left to go. How did you go into today? Uh, I mean, the last few days have been mostly about maintaining pain, <laughs> to be fair, to be honest. But uh, or like controlling the pain, so it's not too bad. Uh, I felt decent yesterday, and I feel pretty good today. Uh, I still notice it, obviously, but <coughs> I was able to play a pretty good game. And uh, yeah, Velesto. I mean, Velesto. I was like, when I was down three-one, I was like, this guy just has my number, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I, I felt good going into it, and uh, I was yeah aiming to play some good HM Empires. It was it was it was sick. Like we we were. Scared for you at the three one. Yeah. Uh, like, did you switch anything between game four and five? Uh, I felt like I was a bit outdrafted on the first two maps in particular, so uh, I wasn't too bothered by those losses. Because okay. um, I still felt like I was playing pretty solid, like execution wise. So I wasn't too bothered. But when I lost uh, the Spanish game, I was like, okay, well now this is gonna be really hard. But. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, all I can do is take one game at a time, right? Did you try and change your approach against Valesa? Because I know you, you mentioned it. Like, you struggled the last set. You've struggled historically against him. Was there anything different coming into this set? No, just um, try to do a good draft, because I think Valesa is amazing at drafting in particular. Um, and But he, he also picks, like, similar home maps to me, so it's like we're very stylistically the same. So I think if, um, if one has a far better draft, it's like probably going to tip heavily in his favor. Uh, for me, it was just about drafting what I think is good and play what I think is good. Yeah, and maybe we can go into some highlights and talk a bit about stuff a bit more in detail, especially game one on Frigid Lake. We felt Japanese against Khmer. You already got quite a lot of criticism for your Japanese picks. 
how did you like this one this time? Uh, obviously, got completely. I mean, I, I did scout almost everything, so <laughs> I pretty much knew. Like in back of my head, I should have known that this strategy was something I could go for, because uh, I've, I've played the same thing myself pretty much with Kumar. So it's like the fact that I didn't even check or wall up, or like I should have just dropped, rushed the tower as soon as I saw like three arches just to deny all the damage that came in. Uh, but I, also when I resigned, I was like, I'm probably dead, but I was surprised that he wasn't further ahead economically. Uh, but I can see here his resources anyway. He was getting ready to go with Castlage, so I don't think Japanese are a bad pick, but I think like going in arms against Kumar was probably not the smartest idea. We uh, also didn't feel like it was a bad pick. It was just very surprising to us that it was your fourth pick. Yeah, the order. Yeah, well, he t he took Kumar. We had, we had banned. Uh, we didn't pick Persians, actually, but uh, I just felt like I, wanna, I wanted to try something with Japanese. Unfortunately, I was into Kumar, which probably wasn't the best. Mm -hmm. So game two here was kind of a stalemate in the center for a very long time, right? Yeah. And then you got some great engagements with the camels. You obviously went double monastery with Mongols. What was the thought process behind that? Well, I figured he would just outmass me on camels. And, like, uh, I'm not really sure what I should have went there. I think, again, it's just a real tough Civ matchup. So it's like um, I felt like I have to outmatch his camel numbers in the opening because I do have bloodlines. So I could potentially hold with that. But... I always felt like it was going to be super hard. I also didn't really know what army to go for. Uh, Skirms are blessed. Mangodai is probably unrealistic because it takes too long. Uh, Lances don't really work. Uh, I felt like if I don't get eco damage early, then I think he's just in a great position. So I, I was trying to go for like a super early lame, etc. This fight right here, was yeah. this a conscious deci decision? Ugh, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? Decision <laughs> from you to take this fight or were you focused somewhere else? I was thinking I'm just going to let them fight and hopefully they trade decent, but he had way more camels. It was obviously a bad decision. I should have just fallen back, but I don't think it would have changed anything based on how the game played out. Um, I think I just needed to play differently, maybe go with my arms or something and like try to make it a different game than what it ended up being. Again, I did go for an early lane because I thought if I could take a sheep, maybe even a boar, maybe I could make something happen. But uh, yeah, it was a really tough. He executed that perfectly. Yeah, really nice play there. Went for a lot of skirms and arbalest there in the end. Not much you can do. And now you're down 2-0. What is your thought process here? You said the first two games didn't bother you too much. You mm -hmm. executed well. It was just bad civilizations. It, it's like because like I'm looking at the score and I'm getting scared. <laughs> but And you still have to play this game. Yeah. No, usually like the way my mindset works is that if I feel like I'm playing well, I'm fine. Because if I feel like I'm playing well, I think I can beat anyone as long as my execution is good. Mm -hmm. So I would just go into the next game, try to play well, and that pathing was annoying. <laughs> no, yeah, that light cap. He blocked beautifully, he though. Did, yeah, yeah. He did do good. like a pretty good job, but there yeah. were some instances there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And Hans on graveyards. How inspired of doubt is that? Um, I don't not really much, but I know he likes he, it. He, he, he will, he will yeah. take credit yeah, for it listen, anyways. Listen, <laughs> Doubt picks Hans here because he wants to use the unique tech to deny <laughs> Relic Gold yeah. from the we, opponent. We talked a bit about it before. That's like 56 <laughs> minute unique tech uh, research. Uh, no, I just wanted to like, um, last time we played this match, he was Lithuanian, so I was Franks. That felt like a hopeless matchup. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I just want a 50-50 type of civilization where I can try to just outplay. And I felt like in the end I was able to do that. Yeah, you got your stables running at all times. Economy was super smooth. You reached Castle Age, double extra town centers, both eco upgrades. You had to set up at the left hand side. Monk trades were going really well for you. That must have given you quite some confidence again. Yeah, uh, obviously it, it it was still a dicey uh, situation. Like he, I wasn't fully walled. He was fully walled, so he could still run in and do eco damage now and then. So it wasn't that comfortable. What went wrong in this game for you? I think I managed my eco wrong. Like I don't think the plan is too bad. I just think um, I, I kept mining stone upon hitting castage. So even though I got three TC TCs, I couldn't really maintain production. So it was like, wh why have three TCs when you can't make three villagers from three TCs? So I think I mismanaged my economy a little bit. Um, if I did a little bit better of a better job there, also I gifted two Kongs to him through conversions. So I lost map control immediately. I, I didn't lose it, but like I didn't have the map control I was hoping for. Uh, and then from that, there was just like very solid follow-up by him. Is the supremacy timing here, is that planned or is that improvisation? Just want to keep those bills alive. <laughs> 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 it's just, I mean, you never, it's not, never a bad tech, right? Yeah. No matter what. And now 3-1 back against the wall and you are playing a pretty standard game in the sense that you're going crossbow knights. Again, early second and third town center. Again, early eco upgrades there. 
and he was going for Skirm Kermald. Did you feel in full control here? Yeah, I felt from the start. Like I, from the first, my spear hit his scout the first time. That after that, I felt like in control. I knew as well that I probably would catch him a bit off guard with like a fast archer follow up. And uh, Chinese are so smooth to play here, so it felt really nice. I was very scared though that he would pick like Berbers or something else here and just use Hindustanis. Uh, even on like uh, gold, gold rush? No, what's it called? Dry graveyard. So I'm thinking if he uses Hindustanis there, I'm pretty screwed because I feel like Hans are a pretty bad match there. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was really happy that he still spent his sieves the way he did. Because I think he could have taken some risks and thrown some bad saves on certain maps in order to get a favorable sieve matchup elsewhere. Especially up with 3-1. Yeah, exactly. That's wha what I was worried about. Uh, but I'm happy he played Hindustanis here. Was it satisfying when you hit Imp and immediately got every single technology in the game? <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, with Chinese, you know, I, yeah. I had such a great economy. I obviously, it went like 200 pop before I hit Imp. So floating some resources and Chinese have cheaper resources, uh, cheaper upgrades as well. So yes, it is quite satisfying. <laughs> And this one was really dicey. Obviously, yeah. some villagers going to the top of the Bro, map you, again. You, <laughs> you <I wanna> slung <laughs> him three villagers, which is like a six-vill uh, swing, right? I wanted to build outposts. Are you actually? That was intentional. No, no, no it wasn't. Okay, yeah, it was okay. the waypoint. Yeah. Thing, right? yeah. This was a nice move by him. Here, I was like, hmm. Oh, you. you this I this think was like dominoes. Like yeah, every exactly. single one he converts, exactly. he just converts another. Yeah, yeah. I do regret not just committing with my eagles and just like, okay, if he gets two, three eagles, that's fine. Uh, I added like three, four barracks extra after, like, as this was going on. So I was ready to like just spam eagles and try to take it from there. Uh, Eco was very close, I can see. So this was never really too easy to well, read. You had an eco upgrade, right? You're just getting hand cards. He didn't have mm -hmm. anything there. So that mm -hmm. was really nice for you. Resource-wise, as you can see, you also collected a solid 1,000 extra resources. If you think both players are getting into employer age with even economies, what should be the ideal army composition for Bermesia? Uh, you can never count out Aramba these days. They're super good. Um, but as I saw he was going champion, I was actually planning to go uh, Jaguar Warriors. But then I figured, okay, I'll just use Eagles to raid on the sides and switch into Arbalest in the middle. It felt like it should be smooth. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Jaguars, Elite Skirm, Atletal Skirms for Aztecs, with some monks maybe. Mm -hmm. And the B Burmese, probably champion around by monks. I don't know. If you, you need, need to ask players, probably. Yeah, it's really, it's really <laughs> hard to... Uh, but this map is like, you can raid on the sides as well, yeah. so I think some mobility doesn't hurt. Hussar would be nice as well for Burmese. And here, Tatars against Berbers, we felt like if it's army versus army with even economies, it could be better for Berbers. Could be. How did you try to not get into even economies? Sure, brother. Yeah, I didn't wanna want a situation where we're like dragging into late game, because I feel like Camel Archers would just dominate. Like if you play Camel Archers, Camel. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> even the fly wants to get involved. Yeah. <laughs> if he just plays Camel Archer or Camel, I think I would struggle to find the right composition. I don't think Tatars are like, uh, has no chance in the Imperial Age, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I just wanted to like make it a bit messy. Maybe he was feeling a bit shaky because uh, he was up 3-1 and suddenly it's 3-3, so I wanted to like put on pressure and force him into an uncomfortable game. Um, yeah, it's kind of what happened. Obviously, quite lucky with the overchop just at that moment. Um, but yeah, I think the pressure was good and uh, yeah. I, I was quite relieved when he resigned. I obviously thought he would play on a little bit longer, but since he of went course. first nice to counterattack, which was a bit of a strange decision in my opinion, um, he was, his eco was so exposed. Uh, so. He actually didn't really counterattack too far, right? He was a bit indecisive yeah, yeah. there and then pushed away from the gold, couldn't really get to the mangonels and just expected that your economy would be so much better. Yep. You're taking down 4-3 and we can take a look at the bracket together now. Obviously, Mr. Yo, also in a an incredible set earlier today, winning against Teddo there. He will face Hera at the opener tomorrow at 13 UTC. And it will be you against Leary. So far, you lost to Willise in the group stage 3-0. Now came back and won. How, how is your mental preparation going to be to face Leary, who you also lost to 3-0? Well, the aim is going to be to repeat what happened today, right? Uh, going down 3-1. <laughs> <laughs> Not in that manner, but like obviously I will try to try to win. Um, I mean, historically I've had a good take on Leary, but these settings are a bit different, obviously. So I think it's going to be super tough. But um, last time we... P <laughs> <laughs> don't, That's don't like by that. the way, the highlight of the yeah. set. <laughs> I was obviously not feeling 100% last time we played, so even though I did still play fairly decent, uh, mm -hmm. but if I can 
just increase my level a little bit, get decision making right, maybe draft a bit better. I think uh, we're gonna have really good games tomorrow. Hera, in one of the interviews, said that Leary and Terra didn't have to show any of their prepared strategies yet. And that's probably one of the scariest things I've heard all mm -hmm. week long. How are you trying to prepare against that? Well, I mean, it's not like we have shown everything ourselves, like the GL guys, but um, I don't think there's going to be too much secrets, too many secrets up their sleeve, right? Um, I feel like the maps are slowly getting figured out, but obviously I'm, I'm curious to see what they come up with. I mean, if you don't play anything throughout the whole tournament, sometimes it backfires because you try it like, oh, you have practiced something and then you try it in the tournament and it's, it actually doesn't work, right? So it's not that straightforward, but obviously if they have like, I mean, I think they might actually be the two of the guys that have trained the most for the tournament. So if they have a lot of secret stuff or that they have prepared, it can be really Maybe uh, Jordan really and SCCM, top two. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but also, like Lear and Hera, they feel like they're playing all the time in the training area as well. So I think they're both grinding a lot. Uh, but yeah, it will be, will be interesting to see if they have anything uh, special. I'm done with my questions. Do you have any opinions on the general level of this tournament? Obviously, you've struggled in three of your sets. Um, outside issues notwithstanding, how do you think players are performing so well here? I think it's a really high level. Like I could tell even in the group stage when I played like Nico, for example. Yeah. I won three one, but I felt like he was playing at an extremely high level. Um, yeah, I, I think the level is as expected, right? Everyone are super good these days, and everyone keeps improving. So, uh, the to get, to reach the top spots is getting harder and harder uh, every single day. Well, congratulations, man! It was an incredible comeback, and uh, you've got. Revenge arc enemy number one <laughs> eliminated, and now number two, and then potentially even number three that swept you before in the group stage. So good luck, dude. Thank you. Super sweet. And well, guys, this is uh, this is the interview. Hopefully, you have enjoyed with the with the interview with the with the series as well. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't be so angry, you know, or so happy. Depend. Thumb up, subscribe, and leave a commentary. It helps a lot.